Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna give the floor to Spirit. We're gonna tap into what you need to hear today. We've got four beautiful images in front of you. You're gonna take 10 seconds to go with the one that you feel the most gravitated towards. And yes, if you do feel gravitated towards more than one image, you can totally watch both readings. So I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to choose, but please also feel free to pause the video. Okay, so if you are attracted towards image one, before we get into your reading, a couple things to note. My goal with this reading is to open the floor to spirit, to pull messages that you need to hear at this moment in time, um, whether that be that you're catching this at the time of release or in the future. This reading is going to be timeless and we're going to be looking at general messages Then we're going to move into love, money, career, and health. I am offering um, a, a reading through Patreon at this moment. It has just been released. It's going to be love messages from your future partner. Uh, if you want to catch that, you can find the link within the description box or the comment section uh, within that pinned comment, as well as if you want to book a private reading, that link will also be within the pinned comment. Um, please also go check out my second channel if you haven't. I will be making... Um, some new videos soon. I have been a little bit sick, uh, but I'm going to be posting soon. Um, and I don't want you to miss out on a video from me. So also make sure that you're subscribing. If you like the way that I read and you don't want to miss out on you know future content, it's going to be imperative that you click that subscribe button and also tap the all notifications so that you don't miss out on a future reading from me or when I go live. So I'm free flowing this reading. I really am. I feel like if you're here, you're meant to be here. Please listen to the message in its entirety. It's going to be a long reading. Let's go with general messages though. General messages for pile one. What do they need to be aware of? We're going to channel everybody who's watching in group one. What do they need to be aware of? Just in the way of a general message. Bring forth what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. And bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. Oh, some of you got like a heavy load to carry these days. Some of you are carrying the weight of the world on your back. I see that here. Give me more on the Ten of Wands. Give me more on um, the Two of Cups. Give me more on the Sun. Give me more on the Five of Cups. Give me more on the Wheel of Fortune and more on uh, the Queen of Cups. A lot of you, I feel like, are having to be really strong with, like, no support. No support. Like, you are your own. You're, you're, you're rooting for yourself, which is beautiful. You know, we don't always get to have, you know, support um, in this journey. Sometimes, you know, it's just, it's like that. But I feel like here, there, this could be a very erratic time. Um, even maybe even being a little fearful as to the fact that, you know, everything is just um, not that stable, okay? Whether that be that it's in your love life, your career, your money, it feels a little bit like you would like uh, more, like, security or something you know of a solid foundation i think a lot of you are very overwhelmed very tired i do have a connection here um if it's not a connection it's like when will i have a companion a lot of you could be very, like single right now uh catching this reading and really wondering like when am i gonna have that soulmate when am i gonna be able to you know, experience something like that. It's been taking a while, but I would love to have some support, you know? Um, and it's not even like a needy thing. I think it's just like, it's, it's, it's normal. It's completely normal. But I just feel like for a lot of you, there's been a lot of endings, but a lot of chaoticness. And I do feel a lot of you are really trying to have um, this faith in your higher self, like trying to have that faith to believe you know, uh, that intuition of yours that keeps talking, but also trying to be brave, really trying to be brave. What you need to also be aware of here is with the magician. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. This is There's two messages in these two cards, okay? For some of you, if you've been wanting to start a business or you've been feeling like you want to take some sort of action on a talent that's being brought forth to you through this reading, 
um, Spirit's giving the green light and saying, like, act, act on this. Um, you've got talent. You need to showcase yourself. It's time. Now, I heard another thing as well, too, um, kind of similar, but not really with the cards that came through in remote viewing. A lot of you may be the talented one. I don't know what this means. I don't know if a lot of you are working with others right now, but I heard like you've got the talent and it's time to walk away. So I don't know if there's some people here who have been carrying people, like carrying people or people have been writing your tail, tail coat. These are things I'm, I haven't, these types of sayings I have not heard in a while. I just heard here too, there could be people who are benefiting off of your talents. And I feel like for maybe even a few of you, and you're going to know if this is you, because it's going to speak to your soul. It's time to walk. It's time to walk. You're not here to carry everybody. Who said that that was supposed to be your job? Okay. I heard that. Um, there's a lot going on for pile one. Um, but I do feel like as a whole, as a general message, um, it's been a bit tough. And I do want to say that I think you're doing a great job navigating through whatever it is that you're navigating through. And you do need to be given some sort of credit for the braveness that you've put on. Um, I don't know that if the next person was in your position, they would be able to hold themselves as together as you've been. So you're getting a big kudos from spirit that they see. They see the effort that you're trying, okay, to kind of overcome these obstacles. We've got two tens. So I think, again, there's been a lot of heavy, heavy burden that some people have been carrying. And maybe if it's even things that they're not talking to others about. They're keeping it like kind of bottled up. I don't, I'm not sure why you're doing that, but if that's something that you feel like you need to do, then I respect that. You know, like I'm hearing that I respect that, but, um, just know that, um, better days are ahead. Better days are ahead. Now let's get some more in the way of general messages. So let's pull from this deck. Let's get some general messages for you. I feel like a lot of you could wonder, you know, why this time feels so strange. <clears throat> a lot of you wonder, like, why is... It almost feels like, for some of you, it feels like bad luck. There's been bad luck. There's been too much of like the same thing and it's like time for the sun to come out so i do feel like there's some impatientness which is understandable but let's get some more in the way of general messages for you more for pile one basket recognition and reward for merit so spirit is this is from spirit i feel like uh, but you may also get this in the physical um, I think recognition is coming to you uh, for your, re like, you know, your merit, what you've put in. Um, this is also, I feel like, very connected to the reap what you sow. So if a lot of you have put your energy into something that, you know, you feel like hasn't been, it hasn't been moving, it's going to start to move. You will see the fruits of that labor. Um, but I also feel like this is very much coming from spirit because we just kind of gave a message like this. We just gave a message like, you know, a kudos for how, you know, you've been being brave and hanging on and, you know, choosing to, I feel like, look at the positive, you know, even if the whole world is crumbling, you're like, I'm going to, you know, be as positive as I can because I know how powerful I am with the Empress. And I know that if I change my thought form or if I, you know, at least try to do something, you know, on my part to um, move forward in a particular way. I know I can turn this around. So there's a lot of faith in oneself. I feel like here you need to be congratulated on you're having faith in yourself. Maybe it's been a while for you to be able to like, you know, do that. Maybe you didn't always have the best self-esteem, but your self-esteem is actually getting stronger through this. Maybe you may not think it is, but it is. More. General messages. Okay, so we've got great personal sorrow. So some of you have really been going through it. I knew it when I felt it with these the spread. And, you know, when you get it confirmed uh, from other uh, ducks, that's when you know you're on the right track. But I feel like a lot of you, there's been a lot of crying, a lot of tears, a lot of like deep inner spiritual growth. And 
you know, we're kind of just setting out, you know, the tone for this reading here. Um, we've got some big light worker warrior types here. And um, no matter what's thrown at, been thrown at you, you just handle it like a boss, you know, but that could mean something to you. You could resonate with that. Now, if you're wondering why you're being brought up with these messages, that's just to validate, validate that this is your pile. Okay. One more general message, please. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Okay, so a lot of you could have been, um, that could have been what caused a lot of the sorrow is that um, there's just a lack of money or there's been an imbalance with money. Um, nothing has been secure and I get it here with the King of Pentacles, but maybe there's been something that's happened recently in regards to money that has caused you to feel like this great personal sorrow. Maybe there's been an ending to some sort of financial stream or maybe your workplace is in jeopardy i don't know but with the teardrops i want you to also know that this is also cleansing this is working as a cleanse as well but i want you to know that i don't think you should feel any kind of shame if you want to cry about this or if you want to you know go through it remember you have to feel it to heal it okay but there could be some issues around money i mean we'll go further into this uh, when we read on that category, but a lot of you could be stressing out over money. Money could be something you've been trying to manifest or, you know, that danger word to me, for some of you, it's been dangerous. Like you probably have been literally, I don't know, for some of you put out on the street or like very close to it. Give me one card from this deck for those that are watching with general messages, what they need to hear. We've got a water sign, okay? So when I get these cards, I always draw another. But listen, um, if you are a water sign, if you're a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, listen, this message is for you, okay? This is just validation. It doesn't mean that if you're a fire sign that um, this is not for you. It's just a, a little extra because sometimes people want to click off. Sometimes people don't want to hear the message, but this is to keep them engaged because a lot of the times when it comes to the readings, people miss out uh, on the message because they click off too early. But if you are a water sign, that could this could be for you. Now, look at the rest of your chart. If you're rising sign, your moon, um, this is also for you. But they want to grab the attention. Spirit wants to grab the attention of the water signs watching because maybe We've got a lot of water signs watching who have been going through H-E-L-L, -L, okay? Okay, I'm going to draw another one because that's what I do when I get this because it's not technically really, uh, you know, a message. Uh, I want more. So let's grab one more. We've got date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Okay, so listen, I think you're going to get invited to something and it may not be from, you know, a love interest, but that is something that I feel like here um, just kind of serves as something to look forward to. I do feel like here someone's about to do something very nice for you. And again, it may not be a lover, but I also feel symbolically with this card as well, that there's going to be, I feel like a breath of fresh air. So all this pain that you may be going through, or maybe, you know, it's just been boring or nothing happening. Something opens up for you that kind of gives you that like idea, like, it kind of restores faith, faith in a way. Um, like, oh, okay, yeah, miracles do happen. Something like that. That's what it feels like to me. Let's get one card from this deck for general messages. Oh, that's weird. Why is this card in here? Yeah, that is weird. Okay, so listen, I'm going to take that as a sign for you guys. Um, I think a nice gesture is coming towards you. That really has a lot to do with like what I just said here. There's a miracle coming for you. And it's going to be pretty surprising because I, I, I really do think your faith is being tested right now. And it's interesting because that page of cups, you know, he's very surprised by the fact that this fish is in the cup, you know, like, oh, what the heck are you doing here? So it has shock value to me. It's like something that on, is on the level of a miracle. But listen, you may also be invited to a date. Someone may ask you out. That's very possible as well, too. 
One card from this deck, please, in the way of a general message for group one. We've got parental alienation. Crazy. I just heard something here. Okay, so this is going to be very deep, a very deep message for some of you watching. If there are those of you that watch, are watching, who don't have the best relationship with your parents, or you do feel like you were neglected somehow, um, there's going to be, I feel like, something positive that happens here. And if you've been ever wondering if you could ever move past that, you will. Um, but you also, I feel like, there's going to be a miracle around this as well, too. And it's coming through in so much ways. I'm hearing karma. I'm hearing forgiveness. I'm hearing watching an apology. But I'm also hearing <coughs> there's going to be some sort of a miracle on your end. Because I think a lot of you have been fighting against this. Or maybe not even really realizing that a lot of maybe the issues that you feel like you're having in life stem from that. Stem from being alienated by a parent. I feel like here there's going to be a moving past this. A breakthrough of some sorts. And how that will happen, it doesn't matter. All I know is that it's going to happen. And when that does happen, you're going to feel like you can move forward. And I know what that's like. I had something similar to that happen through a hypnosis when I was able to go through that and see you know, what I saw. I came out like a new person at the end because these things really can hold you back. They really can. People don't realize that. Um, they just don't. Um, like the tremendous amount of, you know, burden people carry upon themselves when they go through parental alienation. So there's something big coming through uh, for you guys, uh, group one, um, in the way of a breakthrough around parental alienation. Now let's collect these cards. And let's go right into love. Let's get a message for you guys. About love. What does group one? We're channeling everybody who's watching in group one. What do they need to be aware of? regarding love we're going to channel everybody who's watching whether they're single whether they're coupled whether they are not it's complicated what message do you have for them spirit today I just heard someone who hurt you is coming back. Now, I have to draw more cards to understand what the dynamics of that's going to be. But I heard someone who hurt you is coming back. Let me just keep going. More on the Ace of Wands. More on the Ten of Cups. More on the Wheel. More on the uh, Five of Pentacles, more on the Temperance, and more on the Nine of Cups. A lot of you have been working on spirituality or your growth. This is opening a new door for you. If you feel like nothing's been happening, it's because it's taking time. It's taking time. There was a part of you that had to grow to a particular level in order to change what you were attracting. That's what I heard. Secondly, someone is on their way back to you. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I feel like here, mm, you may not want them back. You may decide that, you know, you've kind of outgrown them. But what I feel like is going to happen is that it's going to be very empowering for you for that person to come back. There is something that I feel like that needed to be cleared. And I don't know if it's in the way of them just coming back, period, or something that they say. Something that they say may trigger you in a way that allows you to move forward, okay? I also want to say for another set of people, um, something is new happening. Something new is happening in love as well, too, in the way of not attracting what we've attracted before. Um, something I'm seeing a shut door. That's in the past. That's in the past. I feel like here you've got new eyes to see. They're telling me that for a lot of you, 
you were a little bit blinded before. I don't know if it's who you chose, who you liked, your type, or who was there. You were never able to see them. Now you've got this gift of intuition that's an overdrive. You will not be able to even come into contact with these types anymore. You will be protected. They will not even be attracted to you. So I'm wondering if some of you have kind of moved to like another level, self-empowerment. Maybe you've, I don't know, but that is all energetic. And if you don't believe that people can pick up on that, I urge you to open your mind. They can. You don't have to even say anything. People can tell where you're at energetically. Now, I'm not trying to bash on you and say that, you know, you were like a, a lamb before. But what I mean is that this is good news. Something's changing. The door has been closed. I feel like on whatever before you were attracting, because I do feel like whatever you were attracting before, it's like a moth to a flame. And you're so actually uh, empowered. You're so, you got so much light that we were attracting, I feel like these lower dimensionals in an energetic way, like a vampire. And, you know, now there's something I feel like that's being balanced out with the temperance. We're moving to a next phase. Now, for some of you, there is a new person. <coughs> there's a new person coming in who's going to be able to, I feel like, break down whatever you had before as far as like, um, I'm seeing like a list so I don't know here if we have some people who had these things like a checkoff list. This person will check off the list plus more. They will be, I feel like, something of a nine of cups, which is a desired outcome, a wish, your wish. But with that death clarifying, I'm going to tell you this, the old you had to die. Okay. What do I mean by that? You had to go through a transition in order for them to come in. Now, with that death card, that's a very serious card. If you are not aware of what I'm talking about, you may have not even been aware that you went through a transition. But even just saying no or deciding that you're not going to participate in things anymore, that also is leveling up as well, too. I do feel like here divine timing is at play when it comes to your love life. And with the star card here, with the Wheel of Fortune, there's about to be a spontaneous event. Okay, um, nothing you can plan for. I'm really not even feeling like this is that you're going out and trying to find it, not even on an app, okay? So I wanna say here, um, this is great. This is all positive. I don't see anything negative. Um, what I will say though is that love life is gonna start to look up, but if you're wondering why you had to go through, maybe you know, kiss a lot of toads, or deal with a lot of losers I'm hearing, or maybe even there was time that passed that nothing was happening. There was a transformation taking place in the meantime. And it's not that nothing was happening. It's not that nothing was happening at all. It's just you had to get into your power, okay? You had to also be aware of how powerful you are because I feel like you were giving your power away to these lower level vibrational people. And I'm not trying to judge them, but listen, when you are empowered or you've got that light, which you definitely do with the Queen of Wands, people are going to look to take, okay? And you could be a very nice person, but um, it was time to, I feel like, move past that, create barriers, boundaries, all of that. And I feel like that's going to lead to a lot of positive things for you. Give me more in regards to love for group one. You should accept valid criticism. Okay, so with the cup, I'm really taking this as, this is coming about, okay, they told me this is me. This is me. Some of you may not be understanding this message or real like kind of trying to figure out how to receive it. Um, it's valid criticism. So I think this is points to uh, like, again, what I said to you about empowering yourself. This with the tea cup, right through my mind's eye, they shot through that it's about this reading. So... If you kind of are wondering or feeling like you're not really vibing with this reading or I'm starting to be maybe even um, a little bit rude or you're not being able to receive the message that well um, or it seems a little bit like, I don't know, harsh, they're saying you should accept the valid criticism. This is the T. 
And I feel like it's right now, like what we're getting right now in this reading. More, more in regards to love. But take care, enemies are working against you. Okay, so what you need to be aware of in love is that I do feel like, I'm going to get more on that because I, I think I know where this is going, but I want to see it from the cards. Give me more on what that card's about. This is going to be an interesting message to relay. I've never actually given a message like this before, but I think a lot of this has a lot to do with the power. I think there could be a lot of people who have, I feel like, sabotaged your happiness in love. And I'm wondering if that resonated with that before card, you know, that we got in the previous spread about the parental alienation. We do have something here about childhood. Um, there could be a lot of, like, some sort of sinistry, sinistry between your childhood and your love life. And I feel like here, it's time to release this. So again, um, you know, this could be very hard to hear, but in love, I do feel like there could be a lot of things that are replaying itself, but there could have also been a lot of, I feel like enemies who tried to sabotage love for you. Okay. And I feel like with the aid of uh, swords, they put you into this type of mentality where you didn't know your power and maybe they're responsible for that. Maybe those parents or how you grew up or, you know, how you were raised or whatever is the reason why love has suffered so much. Maybe you, your parents took power from you. That was what you were used to. And maybe when you were giving your power away to those lower level um, vibrational people that you were, you know, encountering, there's some sort of sinistry happening. And I'm hoping I'm saying the word right, sinistry. That's what they gave me. And this, again, I feel like is very hard to hear. And that's why I believe that cup card came out. So this, I feel like with the enemies working against you in love has a lot to do with childhood, okay? Um, there was a lot of belief systems that had to come down. There were a lot of like change, you know, uh, things you had to change, traditional systems, societal systems, things that would have hold you back. Interesting, but you're going to get through it though. You've already probably at the, at the point of this time of getting this rain have already gotten through it more. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Now, the first thing I heard for that one is that um, I think in the workplace, for some of you, I think there could be a love interest, okay? I think what this card is trying to tell me is that you need to be a little bit cautious with this, okay? I don't know. I don't know with the fox. I don't like the face on this card. I feel like here, it's not that your person's bad. For some of you, your person could be bad. Maybe you're picking up on that. Maybe you're like a little bit like wondering as to kind of why they're acting the way they are. Why are they doing what they're doing? They could be behaving like this on purpose because it's business. This is the workplace. But I think a lot of you have a situation happening right now in the workplace for love and it's cautioning you to remain extremely professional, okay? Um, this could get a little bit out of hand or into trouble. Now, I'm not saying that you and your person should not be together or that if you like each other, you can't explore, but I would remain extremely shrewd, okay? And, you know, especially in business, that's what it's telling me. But I think we've got a love attraction or an attraction in the workplace, but spirit wants you to just take heed, OK, don't kind of take any kind of risky situations like allow it to unfold outside of there, but don't act or misstep or misplace your environment. That's just a word of warning. OK, because I, I, I as soon as I saw that card, I said someone's experiencing something in the workplace. Someone is someone who's watching is 100 percent. And um Again, I don't want to say that this love is not real or that it should not be explored, but it's your workplace. You need to remain shrewd, okay, and very careful. But someone likes you there. Someone really likes you in the workplace. Um, someone's got their eyes on you with the fox. Maybe you've got your eye on somebody in the workplace. Who knows? <clears throat> 
but just be careful. Just be careful of your surroundings. Let's get one card for love from this uh, deck. What does group one need to be aware of? Either that with the fox or that it's something around professionalism. So even if it's not the workplace, it could be school. I don't know, but it's like a place where there's eyes on you. One card for this group when it comes to love, please. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay. So with this one, I feel like here, uh, love is coming in. Your heart is about to open up after a time of being closed. I do feel that for the singles. Um, don't be scared to open it up. I know a lot of you have went through a lot. Okay, recently in love and are kind of a little bit, you know, worried about doing this again. Um, but you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with that because we don't want you carrying like emotional baggage. So allow people to prove themselves to you. Um, but please be open to falling in love. Now, for others of you, um, who are afraid to open up your heart, that's just a very direct message that you need to start doing that, okay? Um, if there's fear, if there's a lot of fear around love, you need to work towards, you know, diminishing that or eradicating it, um, you know, completely. If there are those of you who um, are with somebody, um, there could be um, a heart-to-heart -heart moment that's coming up for you guys. Um, could feel very special. It's a feel like a piece of the person that you know that you're with or you like that um, kind of makes you feel like, wow, they let me in a bit. Okay, so that feels really good to me. Um, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on now. Oh, we didn't go with a, a card from this deck. <coughs> okay, one card from this deck, please. For those that are watching in group one, one card for them. What do you want them to know about love? Starting from zero. Okay. Some of you, again, um, there could be coming, there could be like a, a relit candle, like an old flame. You could be starting back from zero with somebody. Um, that's what I picked up here. I don't know how you feel about that. I'm just here to deliver the message. So whether you don't want to take that or, you know, uh, take it, that's up to you. But I feel like here's someone where we kind of had maybe a bit of like a, a tough relationship with. Um, the light is kind of back on. So this light was probably off. There was nothing happening. Now it's coming back again. And I don't know. We're starting back from zero. Whether that be that you want to take that person up on that will be your choice. But uh, for others of you, um, there could be something new coming in, something that is a bit different, um, something that relights or reflames your candle, and now you have to start again. For some of you, listen, um, this really does point to me overall for everybody as like a starting again. Um, so you'll have to take that with what resonates, whether that be that you're single and you're starting again with someone new, someone new comes in. Or that it's, you know, a past flame and they show up and now we got to kind of build back, build back better. <laughs> or, um, you know, it's somebody that, you know, you may be parting ways with and then you will feel like you're being starting, you know, you're starting back from zero. So that's a very general message. And I feel like for everybody who falls into a different category, we'll relate to it differently. Okay. All right, let's move on now. So let's go with career and money for those that are watching in group one. What do they need to be aware of regarding their um, money and their career? Those two categories are very, uh, you know, much linked together. <clears throat> what do they need to know about their, their money and their career? Some of you have an idea 
you need to go for it. I feel like there's some of you, like I got to relay this message ASAP. Some of you have a genius idea that it's, it's still in your mind. It's not fully like, you know, we haven't even started to, you know, put it together. I feel like here with the Knight of Swords, there's a take action on this. Um, this could be actually a very genius idea, but I'm going to tell you another thing for a lot of you, if you don't act on it, it will play on your mind. It will not go away. You know why it's coming from the higher self. Okay. The higher self wants you to move in a particular direction. They just gave me a yes on that. So the ace of swords is sitting underneath and that's a big old yes, um, to what I said, give me more on the eight of cups, more on, um, the seven of swords, more on the strength more on the Knight of Swords, more on um, Seven of Pentacles, more on Ace of Swords. Give me more on this Two of Cups. <clears throat> so much is coming through right now. So listen, this, this idea could be foreign. It's either foreign in nature, like in the physical, like it's really actually foreign, like, but it's, it's generally like when I'm hearing the word foreign, I'm thinking this is unknown territory. This is something that um, goes against the norms. It's not something that um, we know about in the matrix. It could be like a genius idea, but to others, it may be like, oh, really? You want to do that? I would urge you not to share this with others. You know, be careful because, you know, we all know about how people like to put their energy into our, you know, goals and um, there's no place for that. But I'm going to tell you something. This idea could be very genius in the long run. What I will tell you with the Nine of Cups, uh, Nine of Pentacles, is that this could have longevity to it. So this feels like an investment to me. Um, <clears throat> or it could be a business, but we all know things take time. And guys, like, we need to start seeing this whole, like, you know, blowing up to the top. It's just, it's not real. Um, slow and steady is actually what it is. Um, uh, you know, when you shoot right to the top, like there's nowhere to go then back down. Okay. Um, or you stay the same. So there's nothing really good about, you know, uh, taking off, but that slow and steady pace and that nine of pentacles is a good card for that. You know, that is the card of the farmer, the one that, you know, um, it's like you put in that work. And then it just pays off year after year after year. So some of you are being encouraged to like take action on something, do something that is a little bit maybe even different for some of you. Um, you never considered it before. Maybe it came out of nowhere, out of left field. Um, it could help with your money. It will help with your money. And it has longevity to it. Now, I don't have to say that. I can say that this would just not be worth it. It looks like something that may crash and burn very quickly. I don't feel like that. And I do feel like here with the eight of cups, you could be very successful as, at this. I will say for a lot of you, a lot of you have been in a, in a time of gathering, like gathering, saving, trying to do what's right. A lot of you have been really putting that in that work when it comes to your money. And I commend you for it. I really do. Cause I feel like it hasn't been the easiest. There have been things that you've had to say no to like, no, I can't go out. Sorry. Oh no, I ha <clears throat> I can't go to even coffee. I think a lot of you have been really even going deep with this, but to whatever level that may, may be for you, okay? You've been in a time of gathering. This is also gonna pay off. Um, if this is not resonating with you, that you've been in a time of gathering, then the spirit is urging you to get into that, prepare, um, make sure you got your ducks in a row, make sure you are cutting out like all the, it's, it's just, it's just five bucks. It's just $10. Do what you need to do. Be very strategic about this. This is a time to like, <clears throat> for some of you really bunker down and get like that thinking cap on regard in regards to your money. And then there's some of you who have like this idea or this move that you need to make that you need to go for. Um, now, please only go for that if that's what your intuition is also telling you, if that resonates with you. I feel like here, a lot of you have a huge idea. I really do feel that with the Page of Wands. You want to try something new. That is your direction. That is coming from higher self. That's saying to you, like, you got this. Do something new. Are you bored? Get on it. Just do what you feel you want to do. I feel like here as well, uh, when it comes to career and finances, um, the strength card is showing up. I just feel like here there's a lot coming through in the channel. 
uh, your higher self, but also, you know, you want to move forward. You want to move forward. A lot of you, everyone who's watching wants to move forward, whether that's in their company, whether that's in their bank account, um, you want a lot. You have a huge future and you're going to reach it. You're going to reach it. And I will tell you another thing too. There may be some networking that's going to put you in a great position. I do feel like here you need to maximize all options. This could be a very lucky time coming up for you in the way of money, in the way of career, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of people available to you to show you the way in the direction that you need to move. So people will come in, okay? And it could look like, oh, you know, um, I know this one person, you know, like you would probably be great to like work there or, you know, like me and my friends, um, we've been looking for just this kind of product. We would love, like this is even clients, okay? Clients are coming in, but please um, be very strategic about it and be in a time of gathering with the Four of Pentacles. So this is not a time to splurge. I really don't see that here, okay? This is not a time to slurge. This is with the six of pentacles. You know, um, it kind of feels like it's, it, that card is very successful, but I want to bring it down a notch a bit, okay? I want to bring it down a notch a bit uh, because I feel like with this one, we've got the scales in the background. So you need to really balance yourself because a lot of you are working. And I'm going to say this, this may sound very bad, okay? I'm, I'm gonna, I don't care. I'm going to say these things because I know it resonates with people. A lot of you are not being paid properly. A lot of you are not receiving the money that you're supposed to be receiving for the work that you're doing. I feel like here, you got to do what you got to do. I get that. You do what you got to do until, okay, those balance, you know, the scales balance, and then you make a move. But a lot of you, I feel like are in... Um, with the five of wands, a lot of chaos. There's a lot of like energy pulling you all different ways in career and money. And it's a time of really choosing like which direction I'm going to move with the eight of cups. But I do feel like there's going to be doors closed and then there's going to be doors opened, but it could be very like, a revolving door. There's a lot of action right now in your money and your finances, but that's what's going to be what you have to go through in the way to get to the good part, okay? Because it's a time of change. And spirit, your higher self, wants you moving in different directions in order to give you what you need to get, okay? What you want, what you deserve, okay? But it's going to require change. Let's get some cards. Three cards from here. Let's get three cards for this group in regards to career um, and finances. We have an exciting event. We have Gong. Something's happening for you guys in career and money. Um, it's it's It feels very exciting for me. I feel like I heard and I saw someone getting very excited about an investment that's starting to move. And then I saw another person who was like literally in my mind coming home and telling Either people they know or themselves. I can't believe I just got that promotion. I can't believe I just got that promotion. Like whatever this exciting event is in regards to your career or money, it's something that you want. But for some of you, it could be unexpected. But you will have cause to go out and celebrate. And it's definitely more money. More. Needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. So listen, this is the card of the reaping what you sow. Um, I think a lot of you want something in regards to finances or career. Whatever that may be, think about it. Okay, what is it that you want? I'm asking you watching. That will be granted. Okay, this is sincere. This is sincere. The highlighted word is sincere. As in, this is deserving. This is something that is owed to you through your hard work. We've got the needle and thread. You know, that's very vigorous, you know, uh, work when you're sewing, you know, and I do feel like energetically as well too, just keeping that faith in that time of gathering. Maybe you've been doing your part. This will pay off because it's something that you deserve, even with this card as well too. That's a great card to get on the bottom. This is success. This is like, finally, the time has come. More. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. 
What's great about that card is that I actually don't feel like you're dealing with anybody, although because it's a general reading, I have to talk about it. But what I'm going to first talk about is that I think this could be you. I wouldn't be surprised. I think you've been extremely frugal. I think you've been extremely um, straightforward about your life and got, you know, like that bunkering down. OK, I think a lot of you have taken, you know, your career and your money into your own hands and, you know, just really stood up to the challenge. I think this is also another reason why, you know, good things are coming for you. Now, for another set of you, um, they want to bring up a stubborn, aggressive person. This person could be getting in the way of a lot of things that you want in regards to career and money. Um, that's how you could feel about it. I don't think they're going to win. The message is that they're not going to win. They're not going to be allowed to come in between you and your money or your finances or your career. So this person is not as strong. You're giving way too much power to them. They may look like they're, you know, out to get you or that they're not, you know, cooperating or again, getting in the way. But I'm here to tell you that they're not going to win. That is for some of you who resonate with a person when it comes to your money, who maybe is stopping you from getting money or having money or dr uh, drying you up in money. I don't know if they're, I don't know what this is. Maybe they're taking money. Or this could be in the workplace and maybe you feel like, you know, they are getting in the way. They're not going to get in the way. They may be getting in the way right now, but you will have the last laugh. Okay. This person is, you're giving too much power to them. That's the message. One card, please, from this deck in regards to group one and their money, their finances, career cycles fate karma something ending something beginning so you're going through a cycle right now okay so everything is temporary um i feel like here better tame better days are coming and i i love the karma here because again you've reaped what you've sown you're about to even go on a venture that's going to be very profitable but i do feel like here um you know some things you may have to walk away from but it will pick up. Did I not mention the revolving door? That kind of looks like a revolving door, doesn't it? On the card with the cycles. You're just in that moment right now. But what's not waiting for you is going to be just as good. So get into that energy. Change the way you look at this thing. Um, an exciting event is coming for you in your money, in your finances. It's going to be all worth it. But please, if you have an idea on something you want to do, Please act on it, okay? Let's get a card for you in regards to your finances, your career, your money. Bringing back to life. So a lot of you have been suffering, okay? Uh, I feel like um, in money, in um, a lot of you have maybe even invested in something that has been like buried or just been sitting around. It's about to like re be rejuvenated or rejuve. I don't even know what the word is they're giving me. Uh, it's coming back to life. It's coming back to life. Something that you thought was dead and buried. And it could be in regards to a lot of things. It could be maybe even wills and legacies. I don't know if it's investments. I don't even know if this is also could be um, maybe opportunities that you thought were dead. They're coming back to life. Something is about to shock you when it comes to your money and your career. Um, even it's okay. So now they're giving me more. This is about an opportunity there. They're saying something that you thought you didn't have a chance in anymore. It was gone. It was over. That was it. Um, you were not considered. You were not thought, thought about. Something's going to be rejuvenated and it's going to be a very pleasant surprise. Maybe that's the exciting event as well, too. This is going to be, this is actually very exciting because I would think that this would be exciting if you really thought something had passed you and then all of a sudden it's like, no, we want to consider you again or we want to, you know, or maybe the universe is behind this and it kind of works out in your favor. So this is great. Really great. Be excited in money, guys. Be excited. Money and career. Okay, so lastly, let's look at health. What does group one need to be aware of regarding um, their health? Now, I just want to say that uh, if you have any type of ailments, 
or you are feeling unwell, please contact professionals. This uh, reading is not going to replace that, okay? It's not to replace that. Can we pick up on everybody who's watching in group one? What do they need to know about their health? Give me more on the Ten of Cups. I feel like some of you, I heard knee problems right away, okay? If it's not a knee problem, I feel like a lot of you have been sitting on something that, um, you know, you're not really checking out, okay? You're not checking into it. I feel like there's something that I feel like it's, it's like long-term. Long-term has been bothering you. Give me more on the King. Give me more on the Ace of Cups. Give me more on the Seven of Pentacles. Give me more on, okay, so this is a yes. I'm right. I do feel like a lot of you, there could be something with walking. I don't know what this is. There's there's an issue with walking. Um, but what I will say though, is that a lot of you, there's something you're sitting on that you're not checking out by a professional. And I don't know what the situation may be. I don't know if it's a money thing because I feel like here with the queen of pentacles, I mean, she represents money. I don't know if money is the issue. What you need to be aware of though is that um, this could get worse, okay? This could get worse. I would urge you to check this out. If you have been, maybe go somewhere else, do a different you know, second opinion. But I feel like here as well, um, it's going to be okay. I think you will stumble upon something. I feel like that is like new information. It could even be, um, holistic. I feel like, um, you're going to be fine overall, but I feel like give me more on the queen of pentacles. This could be also like your healing journey. Okay. This could also be about like your ascension. Um, you're keeping this to yourself as well too, but it's crazy that we got the hermit because I just said that you were going to be healed. I felt like you were going to get the healing that you needed. Okay. I do feel like you're going to stumble upon this, but I feel like I'm also sensing in the same breath, something that's been bothering you forever. So I don't know if we're going to like a woman who I feel like is recommended to you, or she pops up out of nowhere and she feels very natural to me. I mean, never mind, she's the empress. So I don't know if we're going like a natural route, but I feel like here there needs to be a lot of research into what is wrong with you. So I don't know if maybe like if you're going somewhere else, um, if they're doing enough digging, but there needs to be more digging and she's going to find it. So there's a woman, there's a woman I feel like who will come into your, I don't know, uh, physical atmosphere be recommended to you i'm not sure um but i feel like she may actually be very helpful but there's just also another issue that i want to say a lot of you have been sitting on and maybe some of you just don't even know what's wrong with you you're like i feel weird but like nobody can find anything and maybe that is that you're just going through an ascension thing it could be hey it's a general reading i have no idea who's watching this so what you need to be aware of, though, is that you will get mental clarity regarding this. And I feel like with the Ten of Wands, um, there will be closure around it. You won't be suffering as long as you feel like you're going to be or if that there's like these thoughts of it forever. It's not going to be a forever thing. A lot of you are finding self-love, though. I have to say that as well, too. So kudos for that. And that can totally be under health because, listen, when you do feel that way, when you do feel that way, uh, you do have better health, okay? Uh, you can, especially if you're, you know, I mean, just listen to Dolores Cannon, okay? Just listen to what she says um, or what she talks about with respect to health or even Bashar. Give me more uh, for health for those that are watching in group one. Hat, you will be playing a different role. Okay, so in health, I feel like here, there's something completely new that's going to be shed a light on. Um, 
I think there's somebody coming in who's playing a different role who's going to help a lot with respect to your health. They're different, though. That's what I feel like this woman is. Now, let me just look at that card for a bit here. Some of you may actually end up playing a different role that actually helps with your health. So I don't know if you find yourself to be in a very tough situation right now or you feel like uh, whatever you're doing is, is, is aggravating your health, whether it be a crappy job or whatever, et cetera, et cetera, a bad relationship. Uh, you may get moved into a different role that actually lessens up on this. It helps it. But I do feel like whoever also in the with the other set of people who's coming in to help you, this person's very different from whoever you have uh, consoled in before. So she's interesting. You may actually find your guru or your mentor when it comes to your health. I know for me, that was Alba Weinman when I went to have hypnosis. She helped me with a lot of things just through hypnosis. So I'm just giving you an example of what that can look like more. Clouds, temporary problems. So that's beautiful. That's just what it is. This is temporary. You got the sun actually rising on both cards. Okay. So, I mean, if that's not good, I don't know what is because after a period of time of, you know, frustration, we've got the sun out on both cards. So that's great. More. Pig, beware of greed. Okay, I heard something very, very, very clear with that. Some of you are eating too much, okay? Um, overeating. You know, we've been sold this idea of the three, three meals a day and all that. I don't think that's actually factual. I don't think humans need that much food to survive. Like, what is it, 2,000 calories a day? Um, a lot of you, and I hate to be that person, but need to be told that you're overeating, you're overeating, you're being too greedy when it comes to food, okay? Um, I know that's rude, but listen, I'm talking to myself. I talk like that to myself all the time too. Like, do you really need to eat like two pieces of cake? Why? Why was one piece not good enough, you know? It's just, I feel like there's overconsumption for some of you. Sorry, just had to say it as is. Okay, give me more for those that are watching in group one in regards to their health. What do they need to be aware of? Oh, this is beautiful. Give it time. Everything in divide time, you let things flow. So listen, um, I think if you are dealing with ailments, just be very patient. Sometimes it gets, takes time to get sorted out. Also, too, to find particular people, you know? I mean, I dealt with certain issues for decades until I went to have this hypnosis. And then when I had the hypnosis, everything was beautiful. So sometimes things do take time. But I am paying attention to that little leaf or that sprout that's being grown on here. I do want to say to a lot of people, you know, a lot of you may need to transition from the pig, which is maybe a meat diet, to like a vegetarian. I don't know. There's stomach irritations for me. You may not even be aware that these ailments are maybe coming from like a food intolerance. Give me a card, please, for those that are watching. Um, one card in regards to their health. Truth lives. So the truth will be coming out very soon. Um, it will be shown to you, whether that through a spirit or, you know, a healer. I'm not sure. But um, I think you know the truth. I mean, this is also for a set of people who are aware of what's causing the problems and um, need to take some things into their own hands. But if it's not that, then a lot of you need to know that the truth will be coming out. You will find out what's wrong with you. You will find out. And once you know, then you can go from there, right? So we need at least to know what's going on. And that will be, I feel like, given to you. So be be prepared, be excited. Um, there's nothing wrong with being excited about this, you know? Even if you want to manifest this to happen, you can do that. So this was your reading, uh, Pile 1. I hope you liked it. I wish you all the best. Take care. Okay, so if you are gravitated towards Image 2, this is going to be your reading. But before we start, a couple things to note. I am opening the floor to spirit today with this reading. My goal is to pull as many messages as I can. Uh, we'll be looking at general messages first, uh, love, finances and career, and health. 
And if you want to catch the extended reading, I will be offering one through a Patreon platform. That is going to be messages from a future partner of yours. Uh, you can find that within the link below. But my goal is to definitely um, get those messages that you need to hear. And this reading will be timeless. So whether you are catching it at the time of release or if it's in the future, it's timeless. It's for whatever you need to hear the message. Um, please make sure that you are also uh, subscribed if you do like my content the way that I read. Um, I don't want you missing out on a reading from me or when I go live. I do go, I am going to be going live more often for readings. I don't want you missing out on those notifications. So make sure the all notification button is tapped. And that goes for pre-existing subscribers as well. Check that pinned comment uh, within the comment section from me. Um, you can find the links to all my platforms, including if you want to book a private reading. Uh, my Etsy shop will be there listed. Okay, let's get into this reading. <clears throat> So we're going to channel everybody who's watching in group two and get cozy. This is going to be a long reading. Uh, Timestamps will be there, but I urge you to watch everything. So let's channel everybody who's watching in group two. Let's bring forth messages they need to hear today, not messages they want to hear. And let's bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. Let's look at general messages. And the reason why I do general messages is because this opens now the floor to you receiving uh, messages that you didn't necessarily know that you were going to find today or ask about. Okay. So when we go into the categories, it's more narrowed, but I want the general messages so that somebody here can receive something that they need to hear at this moment. Well, so let's start. <clears throat> Right off the bat, I feel like there are some issues around family. Some issues around family. There's a course of action that someone wants to take that's watching this reading or is maybe even in regards to leaving something behind that is no longer serving them. Give me more on uh, the King of Swords. Yep, we've got an ending. More on the Sun. More on the Six of Pentacles more on the Ten of Cups, more on um, the Nine of Swords, and more on the Empress. There is so much coming out. Just bear with me. Some of you, I feel like, are getting um, overwhelmed around a situation that you no longer want to be attached to. I can't tell if this is an environment because this is a general reading. I can't tell if this is an environment, if this is something you want to close the door on, something that no longer feels right. Um, it could be a family situation, but it could also be something that you're strategically, I feel like, trying to figure out. It's, there's, like, there's like a plan. It's like you're planning on how to leave this behind you. Um, if this is also in regards to feelings about somebody that you know you want to get over somebody, I want you to know you're going to be very successful with this, okay? Um, the other thing I need to say is, well, I'm just jumping everywhere here. Um, a lot of you could be worried about, you know, your come up, your finances, uh, how you will do, how you will move forward. Uh, there's a lot of, of focus on sovereignty, uh, independence, um, making money, having money. I do feel like I am, you know, I don't want to be too specific, but it does feel to me like it's very important to have that independence. And this weighs on your mind immensely. You could be, <clears throat> with this card, Nine of Swords, you could be overdoing it a bit. Um, I, I do feel like here you are going to be very fruitful in your endeavors, very independent. You will reach the status that you want. I just feel like here uh, you got to find some sort of way, though, to deal with your how you feel about that. Okay, I don't think that you're not going to reach it. I think there needs to be more focus on how you are... What you're spending your time like thinking about with, with respect to this, like, are you in positive emotions or are you on in negative emotions? Now, I'm not saying that we're not human and we can't worry, but there could be something here that needs to be, I feel like, addressed. OK, I have also a man here. OK, I feel like this could have been uh, very, very um uh, tragic i want to say the way that this thing ended i feel like it's just it could have ended really i don't know nasty 
uh, with the Ten of Swords. I feel like there could be a revival. There could be, I feel like, with the Page of Wands, a turning around. I do want to say a turning around. It's like I'm, they're showing me like a boat that's kind of going this way. And then all of a sudden, it decides to make a detour. So I can't tell if they're showing me that this person may attempt to, I don't know, fix something. But I do feel like whatever, if this resonates with you, you're going to have to resonate with someone. And it does feel like in love, it feels like a lover. Someone that I feel like the ending was brief. It was terrible. It was not a proper ending. And I know people are like probably going to be like, well, what's a proper ending? Well, something where you can be mature about it. Maybe have some, you know, decent closure. I feel like here there's a turning around of this. Um, there could be something coming forth that is a little bit shocking. Um, and I do feel like I see it in the way of a page of wands. It's um, a message out of a nowhere. It's a contact. It's contact. And pages are messengers. So that's why I feel that way. The other thing I'd like you to be aware about. Someone here is also um, settling in their job place. Someone here is settling in their job place. Now, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. I do feel like here in time, you will uh, get ahead. But right now, I feel like you're trying to make do with whatever you're being offered or whatever you're doing. And the crazy thing about this is that this workplace actually has the money. I don't know. I'm going to say this. This workplace actually has the funds and the money to either advance you or pay you more. But I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I'm going to get more as we go. This is just general messages to open the energy. Okay. Uh, we will be reading on career and money uh, a little bit later, but I feel like here um, I'm getting a bad vibe on the workplace because it feels to me like they could do better. They could do better. Um, and this is not even something that I feel like has to be like this. I think this is just they're choosing to be like this. OK, so we all know if you can't afford something, you have no choice. But these people, I think for some reason, I feel they can afford it. Um, they're just choosing to not to portray not being able to afford it. So I don't know if this has something to do about with your pay or that you should have moved up a long time ago. I have no idea. It's going to be one of those things. Now, for some of you, I feel like I am going to say with the Empress and the Page of Pentacles, for the mothers that are watching, um, your child may actually um, really, really surprise you. I, I know this is so random, but that's what general messages are. Um, they're going to do really good in something. I, I feel like it's like a certificate or it's like good grades. It's academic is what it is. Okay. Because the page of pentacles is going to be more focused towards academics. And even if they're not in school, it's like a milestone. They make a milestone. They, they kind of like, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. It's just, it makes you so happy. You know, um, it's just being really happy about this milestone, you know, being achieved. So that's really great. <clears throat> I do want to see what the Ace of Cups, though. <clears throat> For some of you, I want you to focus more um, on being mo in the moment. A lot of you, I feel like, are scattered in energy, um, especially in your thought form. I feel like here there could be a lot going on, but I feel like here what you need to do is be more present. Now, what that, what, what that will look like is um, when you're constantly jumping ahead, what should be, what will be, um, you know, uh, maybe you've got a lot on your plate. Maybe you have a lot of thinking about this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that that's not important, but you need to, I feel like carve out more time, uh, to be alone. Honestly, this group, I feel like needs a lot more alone time. Um, and you know, that could just be as simple as taking a bath, or just, you know, going for a walk. I'm not saying you have to go on some sort of spa retreat unless you can do that. Uh, but I feel like with this uh, group, you definitely need more time carved out for yourself. So let's, let's get some more. Let's get some more with this group. More in the way of general messages. Okay, that one really I didn't feel guided to pick up. So you, you've got the star. It says guaranteed success. So I'm going to go a little further here. I feel like you're being guided. That star, actually, I've never used this interpretation for this card. Um, you need to trust that you're being guided. Okay. Some of you need to hear that. Some of you really feel like, I don't know if you don't feel like you're doing the best. 
I don't feel like you feel like you're making great decisions or maybe you could be doing better. There's a lot of thought about self. You know, you are being your own worst enemy. But what you need to be aware of with that star card is that you are guided. You're guided. And you are being guided towards the direction of guaranteed success. Now, I'm going to still draw three cards for you because um, that's what I did for group one. That fell out on its own. That's an additional card. So more for group two uh, in the way of general messages. What do they need to be aware of? Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Okay, one thing I heard about this uh, immediately when I flipped it over was that this was going to settle. I don't know if a lot of you have been in a situation where there were accusations thrown around or there's been drama. Um, this is about to cool down. I feel like for a lot of you, you are already experiencing this. You're already experiencing this. And you need to be told through the reading that, yes, the flames are hot right now. They're out of control. But uh, this will simmer. Now, just because, it, because it's a general reading, I have to be very general. For a lot of you, though, that this could be coming your way. Now, when this happens, what I'm hearing is that your reaction is going to have to be what's guarded. Not really the trouble and the accusations. It's going to be how you react to this. Because I also, in that situation for you guys, feel like it will also simmer. And I am feeling like the accusations, actually, there could be a finding out of that this was not even a real thing. So I don't know if somebody here is being accused like it's a setup or that's going to happen for you. Um, something tells me you're, you're innocent in this, but you're going to have to make sure you don't make yourself look more guilty with your reaction. Remember, when you're innocent, you don't need to react to this type of stuff. That's something I'm hearing with this. More. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Okay, so listen, um, you're going through them. This is life. This is what it's like on earth. You came here for that. Sorry, you did. Um, these hills, uh, listen, there's going to be some more hills. There's a lot of hills in this photo. Um, so listen, as you overcome one, there may be another one. But listen, you're, go you're going through a lot right now. And I do feel like here um, you will reach, you know, the valley. Um, you will reach the peak of this mountain. The sun is actually just coming out right here behind the hills. You're almost there. I'm hearing you're almost there. And this feels emotional to me. This actually feels emotional to me. I feel like you've been going through a lot of obstacles regarding your emotions, like how to kind of keep them in check or how to figure out how to deal with them better. A lot. I'm getting this jitter energy. So I feel like a lot of you... <clears throat> may resonate with the fact that you've kind of maybe been dealing with something that you feel like you can't even control yourself. So I don't know if this is like anxiety, panics, panic, panic attacks, nervousness. Um, listen, I would never tell you not to seek professional help. You know, if you need to see a doctor, absolutely do so. But I do want you to know that I do see this, um, you getting a good control of this. Okay, it's not going to be a forever thing. Um, you know, you could just be reacting emo emotionally right now, again, to certain things that are happening in your life. And that's going to happen. That's going to happen because we're human. Okay, one more from this deck uh, for pile two in the way of general messages. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So did I not just say that there's something about reactions? I, I, I think this could be also in, you know, going in tandem with the frying pan. You might want to be careful, but if you feel like you resonate with the fact that you've been kind of going off the handle lately, or let's say you're just like this anyways, some, some people could have like an anger issue, okay, who's watching. You will also, I feel like, master this, but they're also warning to um, keep that in check. Be very careful, you know, um, like I said with the frying pan, um, you don't want to make yourself look guilty when you didn't do nothing. Okay. And listen, reactions are, uh, they're, they're, they are considered. Okay. Uh, people like look at stuff like that and, um, that you can be get labeled like, oh yeah, she would do something like that. Cause look at the way she just reacted. You don't want that. But if you also resonate with the fact that you have anger or you've been angry lately, um, I do feel like there's going to be an obstacle that overcomes regarding that. And maybe that is one of the obstacles that I said that I felt. 
that there's a there's something about emotions not being able to keep like a get a good hold of them but that's okay you know no one's judging you we all go through it i used to be a big reaction person you know um but if you want it bad enough and you you know work towards it sometimes it takes years but i'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to deal with this you're gonna get a hold a handle as opposed to not being able to control it you will get a handle on this and if it feels like sometimes you just are not in control or you feel like your emotions are up and down this is just coming out to like validate that this is your pile. You chose the right one. Let's get a card from this deck for general messages, please. Intimacy. S-E-X-U-A-L. Chemistry. Reminiscing. So listen, I think somebody, uh, I'm going to read this all different ways for all groups of people. So just bear with me. I think for some of you, there is somebody right now who's reminiscing on the type of chemistry that they had with you. I feel like that's this person. Okay. Um, you had a deep connection. They felt it. You felt it. But what's important is that um, it's lingering. It hasn't been broken yet. Okay. And I, when I say intimacy, I don't even just mean like, you know, being together in bed. You guys could have had a bond or you guys could have kept like had something that just was not something that they could have recreated with someone else. And I feel like here this reminiscing may cause this person to reach out. Now, for another set of you, um, this may be something that's coming up for you. You may be kind of, you know, experiencing this if you've been wanting something deep, if you've been wanting something that's out of this world, you know, where, you know what I'm talking about, you know, not the casual mean of minds. This could be coming for you. Okay. Intimacy. I think a lot of you have been wanting that very deeply. Okay. Let us now pull a card from this deck. A lot of you are probably feeling intimacy energy from somebody in the past. And you don't know where it's coming from. May not be you. You know, those connections that we experience with people, they're very hard to break away from. They linger. They really do. Especially if you've had a profound connection. But I think there's a group of you. Somebody's thinking about this, what they shared with you. And then others of you, you will be soon coming into that energy with someone else. So if you've been praying for, you know, love. Good for you. It's coming. Okay, more. Um, give us one card in the way of general messages for uh, pile two. Sidetracked. Okay, some of you, there's like a crossroads. There's a crossroads um, that is before you. It's like two roads. You don't know which path. You don't know what to do. It could even be pointing to two people. Maybe you've got two people in your life. You just don't know what to do. Whatever it is, it's two choices, okay? Some of you are dealing with that. My advice to you with this is that go with the intuition because we've got one lane that is headed towards the moon, which tells me use your intuition. <clears throat> Even if you feel like on paper, this choice would be better because if you follow the road of where you feel you want to go, that is the road that will last longer. This road actually cuts off. It doesn't even last that long. Okay, so there's going to be something, whether you're dealing with it right now or it's coming up, that's going to look like two options. And again, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's two jobs, two people, two like locations. I have no idea. But um, this will serve as something could be of an obstacle to you. Make a mental note of this. If you're not going through this right now, this may be coming up for you. And remember what I said, go with the heart. Don't go with the logic of the pros and cons list. Go with what's pulling your energy. And I know for a lot of people watching, that may seem very irresponsible. But I tell you, I promise you, once you start following that intuition of yours, it's going to get so strong. You will never make a decision again with your brain. Unless it's like those menial things, okay? So that's interesting. Let's move on to love now. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Okay, so let's chat everybody who's watching in group two. Let's bring forth messages they need to hear today in regards to love. And bring forth what they need to hear and not what they want to hear. I just want to get a good shuffle on my cards. What that what what does those that are watching need to hear in regards to love? <clears throat> Give me more on the King of Cups, more on the Three of Cups more on the chariot, more on the devil, more on the page of pentacle, and more on the knight of swords. So there's that card again. There's that ten of swords again. I feel like for a lot of you, we've got reunion coming up. Uh, this is like so prevalent in the cards, especially through the, uh, the general messages reading. We've got reunion um, something that you, I feel like really pushed, maybe even for some of you have pushed out of your mind, something that had, you know, ended brutally even a while ago. Um, all of a sudden now this person's appearing, appearing out of nowhere. And I don't know that, you know, they're not showing me what happens after that. I just feel like here, um, did you manifest this? Cause I'm, tr I'm trying to think here too, with the queen of pentacles, Maybe some of you have been patiently waiting on this or, you know, even not, you know, and when I say patiently waiting, I don't mean like holding up your life, but I feel like you have a, a spot for this person deep in your heart and never left. Now, what I will say for another set of you, there's going to be, I feel like a person, okay, that uh, comes towards you very soon. Maybe even you're dealing with them right now. Because I, you know, timelines are wonky like that. I could be talking and a lot of this is resonating with right now. There's going to be a person who comes through. I want you to make sure that you're watching and observing this person. Because I feel like with the Page of Cups outwardly, this person looks like amazing. They're kind. They are a gift giver. They are complimentary. They know all the right things to say, all the right things to do. But I feel like with the devil, it's S-H-I-T. It's S-H-I-T in the background. As in, this person could even technically be narcissistic or like, I mean, I don't want to use the word of a lunatic, but I feel like here this person could be dangerous. Not in the sense that you would be hurt or anything like that. I just feel like... They're hiding an aspect of themselves, okay? And I can't tell, again, who this is. Uh, but I feel like here, um, it's going to be hard to deny them. They're, they're gorgeous. They are saying the right things. They are, you know, kind. They're buying things. They look outwardly like the perfect catch. But I feel like if you're observant enough with the devil sitting behind... You may start to pick up on some things, but you'd have to pay attention. You'd have to be aware. And with the devil, what I mean is there could be some codependency issues or that person could have, I don't know, issues, period. Um, they could also be very obsessive. So be careful also with the flattery and stuff like that. Um, maybe, you know, don't answer your phone a couple of times. See how they react to that. You know, you should never make yourself always available. Okay, um, that's just, you don't do that with anybody. Okay, because then you won't be, you know, valued for, you know, your time should be precious um, and you should not be always available for people. Okay, um, the other thing that I want to say as well, too, um, is that um, there could also be another connection coming up for some of you aside from this one um, with a person I feel like here, very attracted to you, but I do want to say that, um, Listen, uh, with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, there could be there could be a finding out of something else going on with others. So I also want to, you to be a little bit cautious of this person as well, too. Um, this person, I feel like, is also very attractive, very attracted to you. 
Um, I feel like with the Ace of Wands, there's an instant attraction. But I feel like with the Three of Cups, I feel like we're toasting cups in the background with others that, um, you know, you're not exactly aware of. They are keeping it in the background, okay? Um, the other thing that I want to say, um, would like to make you aware of, if you've been wanting somebody to come in um, and really, like, chase you, like, court you, work, you know, towards, you know, uh, something... Um, build something with the Queen of Pentacles. I do feel like there is going to be that opportunity. Now, opposed to the rest of these, uh, you know, other people that I've picked up on, this person, it may take some time. They are a knight of swords, so they're not exactly in their king power. Um, but I do feel like they will uh, fight for the connection. But as far as commitment, it could take a while. So with this group, you've got a lot going on, no matter like what you fall into. There's going to be action and love. Let's see if we can get some more, some more on this, okay? And again, if you want to catch that Patreon um, reading where I'm drawing messages from a future partner, go ahead and click the link in the description box or the comment section. Okay, let's get some cards for you guys talk to pile two please uh in regards to love what do they need to be aware of eagle triumph over troubles and obstacle obstacles okay so i feel like here you're gonna win you know the bird flying over you know high is a really good sign that you're gonna get i feel like over this i don't know why i'm saying over this over this or through this a lot of you, I do feel like in love, could have something that has been built up. Maybe something you've been wanting to release regarding a partner. You will be triumphant over that. But the other thing that I want to say as well, too, is that any of these people who try to do, you know, like the ones that I picked up that are not so great, they will not win. You will. Okay? You are the phoenix. You're going to rise out of the ashes regarding this. They will not be the ones to win. So with these connections that I picked up on... I wasn't saying that you were going to get buried deep in it. I feel like you're going to be really good. And with the eagle too, there is a, that aspect of that bird's eye view. So I do feel like you're in tune enough to pick up on it. I'm just here to warn you kind of about it or just to like spirit wants you to be aware that this is coming, you know, towards you. And if it's not happening now, it may happen soon. More. Nest. An, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So listen, uh, for some of you uh, in love, you know, there's eggs there. I have to acknowledge them. Some of you could be moving to the next level and getting pregnant. If you're already in a love relationship, you could definitely be getting um, pregnant. Um, this could be expanding this, this, this family. And I do feel like for a lot of you that are coupled and in a secure connection, Regardless if you're going to get pregnant or not, it's going to become more emotionally secure. I do see like a, a brighter days ahead type of situation, more fun, more adventures. And I also see everybody within the connection, even if you have children, more tight knit. So if there's been this feeling of like being against each other or feeling like we don't have each other's back or we can trust really, that I feel like is going to become more secure. There will be a turning of the page with that more owl good advice from a wise person so i would like to think that was me <laughs> so i do feel like with this love um i think this is me honestly when i get these types of cards i actually got something like that for group one um it's the same thing again i think they are uh talking about the advice that i'm giving um that i've given so far with these connections don't forget about them I, be, I think I'm also feeling from this card is that um, make a mental note of it so that you can revert back to the reading and remember what I said, um, because that could also help you, you know, with discernment. OK, let's get a card from this deck with respect to love. What does group two need to know about love? Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. 
somebody's getting back together with somebody. That's for sure. There's a group of people here who are watching. There's going to be some communication coming forward. And I feel like this is like a step forward. It's good. But guess what? Um, and listen, don't come for me in the comment section. If you don't want to forgive, like, don't forgive. This, but there's other people who are watching who maybe do want to work out, okay? Um, but compromise and forgiveness will have to be a factor. You will not be able to do those two things and, and then have it work out. So you've got like a big thing coming up for a lot of you. There's a big a, a big thing coming for you in love. Um, and I do feel like everybody's going to have to step up and be really mature. And that even talks about your person, your person who maybe has to say things like, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. But listen, there could also be communication coming from a new person as well, too. Now, compromise is also there. Um, and I do feel like, you know, with this card, there may be aspects of the person in which, you know, they'll have to work on in order for this to work out. So these people that I mentioned in this spread, they don't have to necessarily be bad. There could be they have that they have. They have like some sort of, you know, situations like this person here. I felt like had codependency issues. You know, if they want to make it work, they're going to have to compromise, you know, and uh, heal stuff like that. So there's a big task. I'm going to say it again, coming for group two. Um, not just for you, but for the other person that you'll be involved in. There's going to have to be a lot of back and forth and coming to like, you know, uh, even grounds, something like that. But absolutely with this card, there's communication coming forward. And what, what you do with that is totally up to you. I'm not telling you what to do whatsoever. Give me a card for this group. What do you need to be aware of in regarding love? Heart on their sleeve. So this says their sleeve. It doesn't say your sleeve. So I do feel like here, um, you will come into, I feel like, oh, okay. I just heard that uh, this person, it's, they still, their heart still skips a beat to you. They didn't forget you. It's not over. You're in their heart. Um, but I think the fact that it's up the sleeve, I feel like it's hiding. I, I, I don't know that some of you are aware of how, you know, much a, a particular person feels for you. Um, you may be finding out, okay, through this communication. Or this is a new person who's going to be very generous. Very generous. But, um, again... They will have some things that maybe you spot, things you don't necessarily like, and they will have to compromise. Or there could be this energy of, you know, wanting to work it out, but like, how do we work it out? So a lot of things you need to get put on the table when this connection comes in. You need to speak though. I am going to tell you watching, when this person comes in, please use your voice. Don't just, you know, be passive aggressive. With this connection, you will have to exert your not demands but like your your feelings your you know what you're thinking um what you don't like what you do like you will have to vocalize this it will be very important with this connection in the way of working it out or if it, it will determine whether it works out period and that person will have to also do the same thing Okay, so let's move on now to career and finances. Let's talk to group two. What do they need to be aware of in regards to finances and career? Please channel everybody who's watching. What do they need to be aware of? in career and finances. Wow. So did we get that card in the first spread for you? That's nice, right? There's a leveling up in money. There's a leveling up. Now, by how much? I don't know. It doesn't seem 
like I mean it's good I mean it's good it's good it's good it's definitely good but it's not like extravagant I feel like you're still working it's not enough to like leave um or you know uh I don't know not like climb more I feel like they're still climbing with the nine of pentacles um but it looks really good as far as like this could be like a pay raise another opportunity coming in or even getting hired give me more on the four of wands <coughs> Give me more on the Page of Pentacles, more on uh, the Nine of Pentacles, more on the Sun, and more on the Page of Wands. Okay, so listen, I think there's going to be a new position opening up for you, um, and it could be within the same workplace, or this could be, if this resonates with you, if you don't have a job right now, something new. Uh, I will tell you with the King of Swords, though, you will be leading. You will be leading. This is a managerial position or something that you're in charge of. This is like a leadership role, okay? Um, I do feel like for some of you, though, I do want to talk to other people. If you're experiencing like a crush in the workplace, I do feel like here, give me more on that fool. I feel like there's going to be, so funny, the five of wands was there. If you're experiencing a crush in the in the workplace, I feel like there's going to be a gesture made. If you're kind of wondering how they feel, or you haven't gotten a good idea. I feel like with the Knight of Wands, there's going to be some sort of like body language or something that is like you can't miss. So I don't know if we have some people here who are dealing with like a, a crush or someone they really like in the workplace. But that person I feel like is going to send you a signal that is very clear. So that could be coming up for you. Others of you, though. Wow. Something you've been waiting on with the hangman to happen. I don't know if it's actually getting a job that's been literally in limbo. And I feel bad for some of you because with the hangman, I feel like some of them looked really promising, but then you didn't get them. Um, that even could be that you're holding, you're being held out for the right position. But what I will say is that um, you beat out the competition. <clears throat> it's given to you. And this competition is fierce. So even if you work somewhere and you're up right now, you know, in, in a like with other people to get something, you will be the winner. And I do want to say as well too, hold on in money and finances because I feel like here the sun is like just about to shine or hit. I really feel like I'm hearing that word hit, but I feel like you want to throw in the towel. Like you're tired. You're tired when it comes to finances and career. And this could even be about like getting ahead. Maybe like I have no money to even save. Like this is ridiculous. Um, but I feel like all of a sudden then there's movement. So we don't want to have a situation here where we're like, you know, um, at that, you know, mar we're doing a marathon, let's say, for example, and you know, you're running and right before you kind of grab that rope, you just, oh, I'm too tired and I just give up. I want to, I want you to be careful with that. I really do. Give me more on that chariot. It could be very toxic for you, this waiting and I feel like a lot of you, even if you're in business, you've been waiting. This group has been definitely waiting in career um, finances as well, too. Um, finance have, finances have been um, an issue for a long time, I feel like. Um, you've had this idea of what you've wanted. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, um, look, there's that waiting card again. You're in your emotions about this, though. You feel like, I don't know, it's consuming you. Just like how that water is about to close in on her. But then look with the eight of wands. Here it is. And then it's being given to you. Yeah, there's action taken. So with this one, and if you're if this is about finances in the way of investments as well, I would really not sell investments unless you really have to. Because I also feel like here this could be even talking about those investments that have been just like, oh my God, I'm seeing that thing with the chart, like going down, then going up, then going down, then going up, and maybe wanting to throw the towel in with this. Now, I want to be very careful with what I'm saying here. If you are in a dire situation and you need money, go ahead and sell those investments. But if you have the ability to hold on, I would. I do feel like there's going to be a moment in time where everything just turns direct for you. But right now, Right now, we're in a hangman situation. So it's like literally left up in the air. <coughs> Give 
even with like, you know, this is all about you. This is all about you, your career. Where is it headed? It's been in limbo. Maybe you even feel like, you know, it's been okay, but it's just been okay. When's it gonna like take off? Let's see if we can get some more, more information for career. Let's channel everybody who's watching in group two and what they need to be aware of regarding a career. Group two, please give them messages in regards to this. Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. Some of you will be moving, okay? Um, but the carriage goes slow, doesn't it, right? So a lot of you have been wanting to move faster, like really faster, like with like a Ferrari, you know, like let's get this show on the road. Um, but I feel like there's movement coming. And listen, some of you may be going on a journey when it comes to your finances or your career. Maybe you might be traveling. I don't know. But what I do want to say as well, too, is that um, you could be getting some sort of a position where you have to travel. And that would be very, very exciting, I feel like. This whole situation could also be a journey. It's a part of your journey. I know that sounds funny to say, but yes, our career and, you know, what we do with our time, you know, in the way of work, it could also be that. Maybe some of you are also um, going to be taking a journey to get kind of a clear head about what you want to do, what direction you want to move in. Um, some of you, I do feel like this year, uh, and I am saying this year, Whatever time you find this reading, will find your passion. You may actually get sick of waiting and maybe some upon, uh, you know, other avenues in the meantime. That way, if plan A falls, I've got plan B. More. Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So I just said that, right? I just said finding your passions. But listen, everything is new, new. There's newness in finances. There, there's newness in career. It's new. There's new ideas. You're bubbling with, you know, new ventures, a fresh start. Something new is happening for you. Uh, I do feel mainly in career. I really do. This is, I feel like this is about career. Um, you may be actually with the fool also going in a different direction. Maybe even with the Knight of Wands taking a little bit of like a, a risk or a different route that is unlike you because with the king of swords he's very straight he's very straight and um he's probably been doing the same job forever but maybe this year you're like you know what i'm gonna look into something else because maybe you know what it's time and maybe that's what the, is the smart thing to do you know let me put my eggs in all different ponds you know different baskets sorry give me more for group two in the way of career and finances Barrel, you will feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So I think what's going to happen for you is that there is going to feel, you you are going to feel this lack. And because we're talking about finances and, and you know, career, I'm going to stick to that. Um, I think this has something to do with these new ideas, um, a new avenue, a new something started for you, even finding your passion. You're going to start to feel like you got to do something about it. You know, you don't want to feel that lack anymore. You don't want to feel like uh, maybe even whatever you've been doing is the same thing. Um, I do feel like there's this wanting to try something new. And I think that's very smart to always do that. Keep your options open. Um, now is the time. The door has never been more open on earth with all this light coming in to start your own thing. So I do want to recommend for pile two, if you've had an idea of, you know, doing something, you know, a venture, I would do it. I would really start it this year. Let's get more. More for group two. Finances and career. What do they need to be aware of? Group two. commitment things are getting serious so this is great this is really great um, when it comes to career 
I feel like you will be making a commitment. And that could be, again, signing some sort of papers, um, you know, contracts, going to work for somebody, um, maybe even all again, you know, your position moves up, it gets more serious, your your duties become more serious. But this could also go for that crush. So if you've been having a crush in the workplace, like this is getting more serious now. I think this person wants to commit, okay, to some degree. But I also want to say as well, too, commitment is also speaking to me. And there could be a commitment that you start outside of, you know, your finances and your career, something different that you decide you want to take a little leap of faith with. But what is great about this card is that as you start to kind of dive into it, you start to feel great about it. And you're like, hmm, I like this actually, you know? Wow, now I'm making money. Um, wow, this is going easier than I've whatever I've done before. Um, this is all what this card can stand for. Whatever it may be, whatever it applies to for whoever's watching, it's wonderful. You want to see commitment in career and finances. That's the stuff you want to see, definitely. Let's get more. Let's get one card from this deck for those that are watching in group two and what they need to be made aware of regarding career and finances. We've got sugar coating. So when it comes to, I feel like, this card, she's got one of her eyes closed. I feel like here, there's something she's not exactly seeing correctly. I do feel like this could be about, you know, these categories of your life. You don't have complete access to what is happening, why this is happening. Um, maybe some things are looking a lot better than they seem, or maybe we don't have exactly the truth that's being said. So what do I mean by that? Let's say this refers to the crush. Maybe there is a fakeness that is, you know, obviously having been, ha you have to be fake in a workplace with a crush, okay? I think this person's feelings are a little, a lot more deeper than what they're putting on. I think they're sugarcoating their feelings, the way they behave. Um, if this is in regards to um, getting a job, I do want to say with the sugarcoating, be yourself, be yourself. There's two messages with this group. Those that want to find a job, make sure you're being as authentic as possible. Um, and make sure you're reading everything, the fine lines, everything, because I don't want you getting into a commitment that maybe you're not fully aware of. Okay. Uh, of what's required of you. Okay. Um, if this is you, um, maybe starting something or realizing that, you know, uh, you want different goals. I say with the sugar coating, be careful with that. Uh, I want you to go full throttle into this because sugar coating energy gives me that that vibe of it's like it's a dream, but I never kind of put anything into it. I just keep it as a dream. I never really maybe take the action to kind of make this thing happen. I just keep it kind of surface level. So with that as well, I want you to be aware of that. Okay. Um, with this card, uh, though, uh, she will release her hands from her eyes and she will have both eyes to see when it comes to her career and her finances. And I'm going to tell you another thing. If you've got investments, they could be uh, being suppressed with the sugar coating. So this is why I say to you when it comes to the investments, because everything right now is being manipulated. OK, um, that's just a fact. I'm not even making a prediction here. OK. I want you to also, if you don't have to, hold on because I feel like here we're about to see a big reveal on those investments and what they're really worth. But right now it could look like it's just like it's worth nothing with the sugar coating or that it's not going to ever amount to anything. Wow. Okay. So that is going to be for career and finances. Let us now move on to health. Now I do need to say guys, I am not a professional. I am not a medical professional. Please make sure that you are seeking out one if you have any ailments. This reading is supposed to be just taken as, you know, entertainment purposes only. 
Um, do not replace this for any type of uh, professional help, okay? Let's tap into group two. What would you like them to be aware of, Spirit, in regards to their health? Oh, wow. Whoa. These are big cards. Give me more on the Nine of Cups. Give me more on the Wheel. More on the Three of Pentacles. More on Hermit, more on Star. More on the Moon. Um, you're about to go through something very huge in the way of a closed door regarding health. A lot of you, I will say, have been getting really healthy, though. Before you even catching this reading, I feel like you've been taking these matters into your own hands. And a lot of you are, I'm just seeing with the Knight of Wands, really working on yourselves. And I am seeing some gym rats. I mean, kudos to you. I don't know how you do it. Good for you. Um, it's amazing. I do feel like there's a big focus on health, though, with this group. I mean, you may be just listening to listen, but I think you're pretty much good. Like, you're good, and you're aware. What you need to be aware of, you know, I never know how these messages are going to go, but what you need to be aware of is that you actually are a healer. You're so tapped in with your body, it's unbelievable. So tapped in. And I feel like here you could be, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, the High Priestess is actually the, the card of the nurse. Okay, she can be a nurse. She can be a therapist as well, too. Um, you are a healer, though. And um, I want you to know that your body reacts to you. So listen, <clears throat> you are, I'm, I'm hearing spontaneous healings. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when I go into the bathtub and I start rubbing crystals. Like, let's say if I'm having a knee problem, I rub the crystals on my knee and I say a particular you know ask formation and then the next morning I wake up and it's gone this feels to me like spontaneous healings if you've been having a lot of that and you're overestimating them I want you to know it's actually you I feel like here you have a lot of potential with health to actually maybe even do something with this this is actually they're trying to tell me that when it comes to career this could be very possible for you if you're looking for another outlet um, you're actually really good at this. This is actually something in your blood with the justice. And when I hear that it's in your blood, I think it's like your DNA or it's, um, something you're meant to do. Wow. With the justice card, this is like something that you could, I feel like you come from other lifetimes with this, with the wheel. So many cycles before you are a healer. I'm not picking up unless we keep going. I'm not really picking up on any ailments. I'm, I'm really picking up on a healer here. And I'm, the message is like, if you ever wanted to consider doing something with this, you may want to do that. Um, but if there's a lot of you that have been taking care of yourself and you resonate with that, this is also um, doing more than you think it is for your body. Okay, let me get some more cards from this deck. I have nothing to say. Now, listen, if a lot of you have been struggling with something, you will get a desired outcome to it. That's the most I can say right here because I feel like there's a balancing out and it feels like an ache to me, an ache or something that was like spontaneous that just popped up out of nowhere and you've been kind of just waiting for it to subside and that could just be that you have neck pain right now or you pulled like, um, you know, a muscle I feel like here with the justice, this will balance out though. But this is like perfect, beautiful health with the nine of pentacles. So that's interesting. Give me more um, in regards to group two and their health. What do they need to be aware of? And success assured with good plans and hard work. Yeah, you've been, you've been doing that. You've been taking care of yourself. And if you don't resonate with the fact that you've been taking care of your body, well, then it's your mental health and your emotions. 
you've been doing whatever you can. And I feel like here, you know, it took time, okay, with that egg. But I do feel like here, you are responsible for your good health. You are very much responsible. More. <laughs> wow, we've got the scales. I was just talking about this. So we've got two justice cards, basically. And listen, listen, there's two messages with this. Either some of you need to do more of, you know, if, if I have to say anything, you need to do more of keeping your life in balance. So if you're spending too much time at work, you need to stop that. You need to kind of really look at what you're giving your most of your life to and make sure that everything is getting, you know, an equal share of your time. But for a lot of you, you've been attaining this and that's also the key to good health. I'm not sure if you're aware of that when you can keep your life in balance. So that's amazing. More. Broken ring, a parting of the ways in either romance or business. Some of you, I feel like this is coming up in health because maybe we have some people here who have a broken heart and feel like this has also been, you know, maybe affecting or if there's those that are unaware that maybe their, their health is suffering because of this or could this just could, could be just like it's around health period because it's our emotions. A lot of you are suffering with a breakup or something that, you know, you had to kind of break up with somebody and I don't care. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be like a business partner, a friendship. Um, somebody may also be, have been responsible for your ill health. Um, just that connection that you shared. And then when it went away, it was detrimental. I feel like that's just coming up to validate that this is your pile and let you know that you will also move past this. This is just temporary. Okay. Let's get more. Let's get a card from this deck. What do you need to be aware of? What does group two need to be aware of regarding their health? Patience, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Okay, so patience is here. So I don't know if we're waiting. I don't know if the clock is very symbolic. Maybe you've got something coming up. Maybe you have to go see somebody regarding your health. I feel like whoever this person is that you're going to meet with, it will go well. But I also feel like here, if you have been struggling with something, they're saying just a few more months till you get better, till you feel better. Um, but I also want to say as well too, if some of you have held out for the right information, you didn't just make a jump move or like a spontaneous move and you've been doing your research i feel like you will also stumble upon the research in a few more months that's going to be probably very specific for some because i do feel like there i saw somebody flipping through a book and really trying to brush up on something or really figure out um what they may be going through because i think you're trying to self-heal as well too i mean it's nothing's wrong with that if that's what you feel you want to do but i feel like here just patience you will get the answers you need. Let's get one card from this deck for you guys. What does group um, two need to be aware of regarding their health? We've got public embarrassment. If a lot of people have been making you feel bad about your health choices, I feel like you need to just really disregard this. I think there could be pointing fingers at the way that you do things, the way that you live. Um, you know, this could be very just simple. Like maybe you're just, I don't know, everything's organic and people are just, it says that it's ridiculous. I don't know. Or maybe they knock you for your, the amount of time that you spend in a gym. Maybe they're bothering you because you don't have enough time for them. There's some sort of public embarrassment over this. And if you've talked about your feelings or you've shared your health, journey or whatever this could also be in relation to that i feel like somebody here who's watching has faced public embarrassment over their health choices and if that is that you've wanted to self-heal or do your research it could also be that too I'm not going to put that past it this is coming up to let you know um you're not nuts you're not nuts you're not crazy and remember all these people who are pointing the fingers there's three, uh, four fingers pointing back at them. So they should not be. And listen, you know, it's not, you know, crazy 
uh, to do research. You're not crazy if you want to do research. You know, we've, we, we know about this. People get knocked all the time because they want to, you know, find out more, um, you know, research more. Is this the right decision for them? You do your thing, okay? Do not worry about this public embarrassment. Okay, so I wish you all the best, Pile 2. I really do. Let me know what you thought about this reading. Take care. Okay, so if you were gravitated towards image three, this is going to be your reading. But before we start, a couple things to note. So with this reading, um, it's going to be a timeless reading, whether you are finding it at the time of release or you are finding it in the future. This reading will find you whenever you need it to find you. I am basically going to be opening up the floor to spirit uh, to bring forth messages you need to hear uh, in respect to uh, general messages, love, career and finances, and lastly, health. I also want you to be aware that I am making um, an extended reading a little bit further with respect to love, and that's going to be titled Messages from Your Future Partner. So if you want to catch that, you can definitely go look within the pinned comment in the comment section and find the link to my Patreon platform through there, as well as if you'd like to book a private reading, you can also find uh, the link to my Etsy shop and also my second channel. So let's get started. Um, it's going to be very important that if you like the way that I read, if you're new here um, to subscribe, I don't want you missing out on a reading from me or when I go live. I do do live readings um, and, you know, I, I can't always plan them. So you need to be uh, well aware and be notified. And the only way you're going to be able to, you know, get those notifications is if you tap all notifications on and that goes for pre-existing subscribers please make sure you may not even realize right now that you don't have all notifications on so go check over there for me um so let's start let's start we're gonna channel everybody who's watching in group three every person who's watching in group three and we're gonna bring forth the messages they need to hear today not the messages they want to hear and we're gonna start with general messages what do you want them to be aware of Okay, weirdly enough, this was on its, um, it was on its back, or not its back, it's just, it's flipped over, and it was off to the right of me, it should not have been there, so I just flipped it over to see if I just didn't put it away, um, maybe it was from pile one or two, and it wasn't, so listen, I don't believe in coincidences, so the first thing I'm going to say here, there could be a pregnancy, I don't know who that may resonate with, but listen, let's not take things so literal. This could be that you're birthing something new, okay? It could be a new you, a new venture, but that was very weird that that was over there. So I'm going to include it uh, for the general messages. I'm just going to put it up here. One of you may be finding out that you are pregnant or someone you know is pregnant. Someone is expecting. So that could be a message for a few of you, but let's get into the reading. What do you want pile three to be aware of in the way of general messages, please? Bring forth what they need to be aware of, not what they want to hear. And bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. I do really feel like a lot of you have been going through a huge transformation and this is you. This is a new you. But listen... Someone could be pregnant. More on the emperor. More on the three of cups. Wow. Okay, I need more on that. Oh my God, what is going on here? Okay, more on the six of pentacles. More on um, the six, uh, four of cups. More on the knight of pentacles. More on the ten of cups. Oh my goodness. So much to say. Listen. First thing I need you to be aware of, someone in the family is going to be making a departure soon. Someone is leaving. And don't worry, I'm not talking about, you know, off this earth plane. I'm just saying someone may surprise you in the family. You may hear news of someone leaving. Or if that doesn't make sense to you, just because this is a general reading, I have to also incorporate that this could be you on your way out. If there are those that are watching who have been wanting to get away from family, um, maybe even something to some degree that doesn't serve them, okay? Uh, you're not, something that once made you happy that's not making you feel happy anymore, okay? Ten of Cups. 
And a lot of people like to, you know, uh, put their input on how I read that card. It's a 10. So you better believe it's an ending. Okay. So something that once made you happy, that's no longer making you happy. You're getting away from that. You're successful in this. Okay. I feel like it's a long time coming from you for you. And um, if you've been wanting to, you know, take a new step forward, leave something behind could be a location, but again, it could be even for some people, we have some people here who are watching who've been wanting to get away from, you know, family or leave behind family. That's coming up for you. The other thing I'd like you to be aware of, six of pentacles and eight of pentacles. Some of you have been working your tail off at, listen, I'm going to just give you little different categories here because there's a lot of people watching. Some of you have been working towards a goal, okay? Um, it's been in the works. I think you're ready. Preparation meets opportunity right now, I'm hearing, okay? Right now, you're ripe for something big to come forth, and it's based off of your doings. This is not something, you know, like a windfall. This is something of your doing. I feel like here you've been working, and this could even be like if you've been working in um, a workplace or somewhere where you had to kind of prove yourself. You see this um, card? I can't pick up these cards because of my nails. Um, you see this card? You see how this person, who's obviously an, an authoritative over this man, is throwing these little breadcrumbs? I feel like there could be a lot of you who have had to sacrifice to kind of move up. Or, you know, have had to have patience. And that's usually sometimes what it's like, you know, when you're building something. You know, I can't compare my business in the first year to what it was like now, but you better believe I never gave up. Nope. I think there's something huge coming and I feel like it's based upon uh, you being ready. Now, this could be again in the workplace. This could be a venture that you've been trying to put together, something that you've been putting a lot of effort into. You've been working away at this, okay, with that eight of pentacles. It's like, this person doesn't even see anything else. They only see their craft and they're completely invested in this. This could also be finances too. You know, if you've been making some investments or you've been saving, listen, I feel like that balancing uh, the scales with the balance is about to go in your favor. The other thing I'd like you to be aware of, we've got a huge celebration um, coming in regards to something you've been manifesting or something you've been wanting a particular outcome with. Now, I need more on that Hierophant. Yeah, you guys are like, I don't know if I want to say the workaholics, but the ones who have been doing the most so far, like we're on pile three now. And I feel like even with the Page of Swords, you've been learning, you've been gathering. And listen, if this is just about your spiritual journey, oh my goodness, you've been learning. You've been learning. You have been um, a student in this game of life for so long, you are finally, look at that, another, another student type card. You've been trying your best to just really uh, get this, you know, thing going, whatever you want, or keep your focus straight. Um, this pile deserves like a big round of applause for like being patient and being brave. I feel like with the emperor, you've been gaining so much wisdom and this could be about your spiritual journey. But my goodness, with this pregnancy card, I feel like here we've got a huge transformation. Like this is very spiritual as well too. You may not think it's spiritual, but I promise you like whatever you've been doing in your life, it's kind of preparing you for that next level. And this is the, this energy is about leveling up 100%. And I do feel like here, um, you are aware of this because with the seven of pentacles, this tells me that you've planted a seed in regards to this. But you've been patiently waiting as well, too. So you're going to have to participate as the viewer and ask yourself, what is the first thing you thought about when I said that? What have you been working toward? Is it self-development? Is it a promotion? Is it getting a job? Is it, you know, going back to school? Is it starting a business? That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about here. It, this looks to me like we're leveling up. And a lot of it, I feel like, is just... It's just wonderful. It's like with the star, it's like renewal. You feel good. You feel good about where your life is going. And if you feel like you're watching this and you're like, I don't like where my life is going, 
This is coming for you then. But a lot of you could be already in this energy right now or aware psychically with the star that that's just around the corner for you. You know, you may not be where you want to be right now, but you are very well aware, very in tune with the star that your time is coming. Okay. Um, I do want to say for another set of people, I would also like you to be aware that um, if you have been waiting on a particular person um, to write you back, I am seeing with the page, this is something <sighs> news. This is news about somebody. I don't know if this is a lover. I don't know who this is, but I feel like here we've got somebody coming back from the past. And listen, this may actually be a test. I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, oh my God, that person that you love is coming back. No, this is anybody. Right now, you need to be aware that um, you could be very much tested coming up. And I'm wondering if there's even people who are watching this who are like, all, all these weird people from the past are showing up. If that's happening right now, that's totally for you. But if that's also, you know, you don't resonate with that right now, that's coming for you. There's going to be a lot of people from the past that I feel like are sensing that you're doing well, or maybe it's just been quiet, or maybe they're seeing your shine and they want some sort of in on this. I don't know why. Um, these people, I feel like, give me more. These people... I feel like you have to be very careful around, very careful around, because this is the type of card, uh, the energy what I was sen sensing before I brought out these other cards, where they're more trouble to have around you than if they're not around you. And something tells me again with the Ten of Pentacles that they're sensing or seeing you do well. And Maybe unbeknownst to them, maybe they're not even aware of it, but they're coming, I feel like, to stir up some trouble. So if you also resonate with the fact that you've left some people behind, you could hear from some people. So for this card, these two cards, either you're leaving behind toxic, you know, energy or people, or maybe you've already done that. These people, if you've already done that, could be making a comeback. And I want to say protect your territory. And I mean like, you know, not your house. I mean like your physical space, okay? Be on guard about this. I don't know how genuine um, I feel like the intent is. Let's get some more. Let's get some more general messages for you. More messages for those that have chosen group three in the way of general messages. Let's pull three cards for you. Okay, we've got vacation. Some of you need to be aware that um, vacation is going to come up for you. Um, it could be for some of you very spontaneous. I would ride with it. You may get an opportunity to go somewhere. I would say be like the kite and fly away. Okay. For others of you, if you've been wanting to travel or you've been putting, trying to put a vacation together or having this itch to go, that's not random. I think you do need to go, but a vacation could be coming up for you. This feels to me like a real vacation. Like I'm not just talking about like a, a trip up North. This feels to me like something like we've wanted to do for a while. Um, something that could even enhance your spiritual your spirituality. And we all know when we visit certain places, sometimes that, that it does that for us. Okay. I know for me, if I, sh if I went to Thailand, I would come back different because I've always felt, um, this need to go there, which I can't make sense of, uh, but you know, sometimes it's past life stuff. You never know. So anyways, vacation's coming up for you more. You are highly thought of. So listen with the bow, I haven't seen this card in a while. A lot of eyes are on you right now, okay? You may be doing some things. Um, I'm not saying that you're out there and you've got a Mercedes or you just, you know, like don't think of it in that context. I just feel like there's eyes on you and there could be people who want to get energetically close to you because of this, okay? Uh, you're very highly thought of and you may be even doing some things that are different, like 
you know, highly thought of things. And with the emperor, you could be totally a boss. You could be totally in your power. You could be like, you know, um, looking like somebody full of wisdom. And that sometimes attracts people who are, you know, vampire-ish type energy. You know where I'm going. But I just want you to know here. Um, and the fact that the head is turned on this card, I feel like there's you're not aware of how many people are watching you. Like do big things. So just be aware of that. I don't really want to say be cautious or anything. I just think you need to know. And if you've been sensing that, then, hey, this is just confirmation. More. Oh, we've got spiritual love. Spiritual love. Either you've experienced that or it's coming for you. Um, there could be someone coming in that's going to make you, I feel like, bloom even more beautifully than you are ready. But hey... You may be actually attracting this in because of, you know, this whole vibe you're carrying. But I do want to say as well, too, if you've experienced this already, listen, it's just coming through to say, hey, like, this is still, it's still in your energy field. I feel like um, that person also is connected, is trying to come through, even in the reading, to just say, hey, I haven't forgotten you. But spiritual love, you're going to either resonate with the fact that you've had it already or it's coming. And I love the flower on it because I feel like it's it's going to bloom. It's going to get better or stronger. Um, but there's fun times ahead with this. Really. Now, I did find this card, but I'm going to still pull another one because, you know, I that's what I did for everybody else. But with this card, that was so weird. So weird. <laughs> so let me know if that pregnancy card resonates with you, either being transformed or you're about to, you know, give birth to an idea or literally give birth. Can we get a card for um, pile three in the way of a general message, please? Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So you're being extremely, I feel like, guided through the reading. Spirit wants you to say, like, your intuition has been impeccable. Okay? Maybe you always had it. But listen, sometimes you tend to kind of, like, ignore what we send you. That's the higher self. Um, you want to be very careful with that because I feel like there's even for some of you have been a trend of you going against that intuition and it has not ended pretty. Um, please pay attention to red flags. This is a general message. It's not in any specific category. So I'm going to say with anything, you need to start tapping into that intuition more and believing it. So when you see those red flags, which, you know, kind of make you feel like, huh, that's weird. Or, hmm, that was weird what that person said. You know, all your senses are activated, I feel like, with this intuition. You've got that. Um, please tap into it more, but please also believe it. Spirit wants you to definitely, with this card, be aware of that. Let's, and that could be with these people coming back. I don't know. Or maybe you're getting a vibe about people watching. I have no idea how that's going to uh, resonate with for each person watching. Let's get a card from this deck in the way of, you know, a general message for you guys. Maybe this new pregnancy, this new birthing is that intuition. You're noticing it's getting stronger. You never had it before, maybe, but it's like the more you're listening to it, it's just getting stronger and stronger, which is a good thing. Give me more for group three in the way of a general message. Completely changed. So we've got like a 180 happening here. Um, I think this is you. I, I, I really am being guided and hearing that this is you. I mean, that pregnancy card, I'm telling you, you're being birthed. It's like you could be 48 watching this, but like you feel like a whole new person. And if you don't feel like that right now, that's coming up for you. And if you feel like change has been a big factor in your life, like all you've been doing is making change or being forced, like you feel like you're being forced to make changes, trust that, that that's positive. It's to get you to like your best life ever. And in order for you to become, again, transformed, these changes will have to occur. But this is wonderful. This is not going downhill. This is going completely uphill. 
I really do feel pile three. If you really start to like really heavily believe in yourself and that intuition of yours, you could probably create the best life ever. Even better than if it is right now. It could just keep getting better and better and better for you. So I really wish you like all the best with this. Let's move on to love. Okay, so let's find out what you guys need to be aware of when it comes to love. Let's channel everybody who's watching and let's bring forth messages they need to hear, not what they want to hear, in regards to love. Ten of Cups is coming up again. Maybe you've recently moved on from an old flame. Give me more on the Ten of Cups. Give me more on the Page of Wands. More. Give me more on the King of Pentacles. Give me more on the Eight of Cups. More on the Chariot. And more on the Three of Cups. I, I, <coughs> excuse me, I think that you're ready for something big. I, I need you to know something. I don't think, you know, if you're not with someone right now, I just don't think it's possible for you to go to be able to be involved with a karmic again. I feel like here there's movement. What's their movement on, uh, like onwards and upwards in regards to and mental clarity and celebration the fact that you're not going to be encountering these people who have been coming into your life with this huge place of lack, coming from a huge place of lack. And that doesn't have to be that it's about money. It could be about their self-esteem, the way they carry themselves, the way they're, I don't know, moody, the way they put their, you know, junk on you. Um, all of that. I feel like there's huge celebrations about leveling up. Now, if you've also walked away from something, you're getting a big, big sign from the universe that this was right. And I don't care if this was a divorce from 20 years ago. Um, whatever you walked away from, whatever you decided to be brave about and move on from, you're getting a big, you know, standing ovation about this. I do want to say as well, too, that, um, listen, there could be some people where there hasn't been anything happening, okay? And even if you resonate with what I just said before about moving on from someone, there could also be questions about, you know, where is this person? Um, listen, with the temperance card, you will not be able to control this. You will not be able to control your love life. If you've actually been feeling like I have no control over this love life. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be like. Um, spirits in charge now. Okay. With that temperance card, um, Spirit is completely in charge. And I feel like here they're working on bringing you somebody who is with the King of Pentacles, you know, secure, um, just your type. I heard just your type. I don't know what that means. Well-established, got their head on their shoulders. Someone you've been looking for for a while, but for some reason could never attract, okay? Um, I do want to say as well too, if you've been working on boundaries, this was this will also uh, come in the way of, you know, a blessing in love. Um, there is something with the Queen of Swords of I feel like a change, a change, doing something different, um, being different, um, holding your ground, standing your ground. And I feel like there is a lot of people who could be watching who, listen, it may not be that fun to be, you know, single, but a lot of you have been you know dealing with it dealing with it but standing your ground and sometimes you want to give in but you don't a lot of you okay i want to tell another set of people something it, these messages are coming they like they literally cut me off and that's what happens when it's a pick a card for youtube is that it's i'm trying to cram all these messages that's why my readings are so long because i could go forever i am being told that 
if you're watching this and you've got a really nice relationship with somebody that you've been with, you know, doesn't matter, a couple years, a year, and you and it's been like really nice, you know, um, that person has not treated you bad. I am being told that that is a very high level soulmate and that person was a gift. That person was a gift. It was a reward for something that you suffered with in the past. I don't have all the answers to what that may be because I don't even know who I'm talking to. But spirit wants to make sure that you're aware that this person that you're with, um, they were sent by God. And no, if you are dealing with someone who is abusing you or talking back to you or there's fights and separation, I'm not talking to those. Sorry. I'm talking to people who are committed to each other. Um, both are committed to each other. That person is someone different that you than you've ever met before. They actually, you know, commit to you, they keep their word, they show up on time, they want a life with you. That's what I heard. Now, for others of you that are in a complicated situation, you're going to get some sort of big message regarding this person. I feel that here with the uh, judgment. It's going to be in the way of a download. You are going to be given instructions on what to do. And listen, some of you may not like it, but you will have to probably walk away from it or you're going to have to agree to disagree and still move on. There is somebody who's watching right now who's dealing with somebody who is extremely difficult to be around, someone who may even weave in and out of your life. I'm not giving the message. I'm being told spirit will let you know. It, it will come in. It will come in. And you may even grow tired. It might get to a point where you just had enough and you cannot go any further with this person. With this Eight of Cups, this is about trying my best, doing my best. But you know what? This soul contract is now over. It's over. You're going to get some sort of aha moment in which you start to like, and it's not going to come from anybody else. It's not going to come from booking a tarot reading. It's going to come from you. And you are going to be like such in a good place after receiving this message because I don't know. It's exactly what you need to move on. And if it's that you have not seen that person in a while, but you're finding yourself stuck and can't move on, it's the same thing for you guys. Let's get some more in regards to love. There are huge transformations in love for you guys. Huge transformations. And I think letting go is one of them because I'm telling you with that temperance card, a spirit's in charge of your love life now. You know that uh, movie with Tom Hanks when the guy go, I'm the captain now? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in charge now is what spirit's saying. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> May not be to you, but listen, spirit knows what's good for you. Your higher self, um, they will lead you in the direction that you need to be. And listen, what I just said about that person who may be, you know, watching, who's in a good com committed relationship, that could be your future timeline, too. Listen, everything's running at the same time. That could also be a message for you that that's going to be meet, meeting you down the road. Give me more for uh, group three, please, in love. Success. Okay, great. We have success. We need more, though. So now I'm going to draw four for you. We've got victory in some endeavor. You will rise up in love. And I do feel like a lot of you, it's for those that are like just are stuck, really stuck right now. I feel like you feel like I've done what I could do. I even took avenues that I didn't want to take because maybe it was really hard to detach. And you're like, where is it? Where is it? You will have that victory, though. Just give it time. More. Wind chimes. Peace and harmony. I love that card because that's what I sense with some people who are watching is that either you are already with this soulmate or that person is coming to you soon and it's going to be nothing but peace and harmony. It's not going to be like what you've experienced before with the like waiting and the wondering. And um, what does that person mean? What do they like, you know, do they feel this way? What are their feelings? There's not going to be any confusion. It's just going to be peace and harmony. 
Okay, let's go with one more because I don't consider the success card really a message. So let's get one more for you guys in love. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Okay, so listen, do not put your life on hold anymore when it comes to love. I think a lot of you have been doing that. It's time to lighten up as well. It's time to lighten up as well. And, you know, whether this is about love or not, I do feel like there are some people watching who are literally like not going anywhere. Um, what's the excuse I'm hearing? That's not my words. What's the excuse for you not going out and having fun? I'm not saying you have to spend a bunch of money, but maybe that's an indication of where, you're, where, where you'll meet your person. Maybe you need to start going out and getting out of that house. You know, how will you meet the person if you don't put yourself in places of opportunity? I don't know. But listen, regardless, please, you know, live your life. Live your life. If nothing's happening right now, you still need to be, you know, having fun. Um, you know, just have some laughs. Lighten up. And I don't mean that in a rude way. Okay, give me a card, please, for those that are watching. In love, what do they need to be aware of? Oh, you've got a confession. Someone has something to tell you. So listen, um, I think a confession is on the way. And it's coming from somebody who adores you, who really likes you. This feels like a future person to me, but hell, it's a general reading. I don't know who this is from, but you will get a confession soon and it may smack you really out of nowhere. It may be really out of left field. Um, I just heard too that you may be so astonished of, about the way this person feels about you. You may actually be like, it may actually give you this ego boost as well too, because just hearing them talk about you, it's like, yeah, really? I'm that great? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I, I am really good. Yeah. Um, cause this person thinks the world of you that will be included in the confession, how D O P E you are, how magnificent you are. Oh my God. You're getting a confession and I don't know how that's going to look, but when you get it, you'll remember the reading. You will remember it. Take a mental note, but don't put time frames on it. Don't stifle it either. Just take a mental note and then forget about it. Give me more. In regards to love, what does group three need to be aware of? Control, alt, delete. So when it comes to love, there could be a connection that's made through the internet, okay? But this could also be very representative of those that have walked away from somebody, or this is very symbolic of removing their energy completely. It's time to move on. Maybe something happens with someone new that, you know, allows you to literally press those buttons for the last time. You are no longer a memory in my mind. Control, I'll delete you away. You know, something along those lines. But I do feel like for some of you, I did hear that there could be, if you're being blocked right now, or if you got ghosted, you may become unblocked. I don't know how that will exactly pan out for you, like what will come of that, but you will see that this person I feel like is lingering or making contact or you see that they get, you get unblocked or there's like a return of some sorts. Something weird going on over, line, over the online, um, something. And I am actually also being told that if you do, if this happens to you also, there's nothing wrong with you. Think about it. The fact that the person had to go and do that says a lot about how they feel about you. It really does. Because you could just, you know, leave those people on red. Why block? For what? That, I feel like that's coming from somebody who could be a little bit scared or intimidated. But I feel like it's majority the messages for those that have been ghosted or blocked. I feel like we have an unblocking. But also, too, that, you know, a lot of you want to get over something else. That's going to happen. You will finally be able to move forward. That's wonderful. Okay. Let's move on to finances and career. Okay. So what do you need to be aware of regarding finances and career? 
let's channel everybody who's watching and bring forth the messages they need to be aware of, not what they want to hear. And we are looking for messages in or around career and finances. Oh, wow. There's that student card coming out again. You guys are going from a student to a boss. Like, even if you are at the beginning of your career, um, you're moving up real quick. And listen, if you got your own business, same thing. There's going to be a huge, like, increase in something. Give me more on the star. Yeah, you're a winner this year. Anytime that you're finding this. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, listen, um, you're totally abundant right now or about to be. Um, you're going to beat out the competition, I feel like, as well, too. Like swinging, came out swinging. And I really do feel like with this, there's either people who are learning something right now or they're like in school or they're like just started a business and it's like going from like, one level to like skipping a few levels um or this is getting like a huge promotion and being advanced this is advancement but like you know with the king of pentacles like you know really um getting advanced here um there's a desired outcome to be more secure more stable that's coming to you if a lot of you have been wow to get these two cards is unbelievable so with the five of pentacles, I feel like there could be people watching who finances have been so tight, so tight, maybe even borderline like, you know, last pennies, you know, I'm counting my pennies. I could be out on the street. Honestly, I could be out on the street. I feel like here there's a turn of events, but it doesn't even feel like a little baby step. It feels like, you know, like if I'm just using these words symbolically, it's like I'm a student. Now I'm a boss. I'm a student, but then I'm a boss. Like, we got some, like, viral, like, you know, huge blessings coming in the way of career and finances. And I do feel like here, um, it's kind of sad in a way with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles because I feel like we've been doing a lot of work and, like, not being, you know, rewarded properly. And I do feel like there are people who have been giving out free energy, like their energy, because I feel like with the page of swords, it's like, we all got to start somewhere, right? And that could even be that your prices have been low, what you've been charging, but now you're in a position now to charge more. So I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know, you know, how that will resonate with you, but I feel like here, this even is in regards to like what you charge for your time, what you charge for your wisdom, like what you're able to charge it's different now you're in a different space and now you can ask for more and listen with the star there's going to be a turn of events that put you into a very good position and six of wands you can totally hop off this reading when it's done you can research that card that is the success winner winner chicken dinner card okay um you want to see that in a financial reading and it's crazy because I do feel like you feel like there's been energies that have been keeping you down, trying to attack you with the five of swords, maybe even other people trying to attack you or get one up on you or make you look bad, um, you know, in career or in what you're doing, or maybe even what you're doing, there's a niche and there's a lot of other people in it. And, you know, you've been suppressed with the queen of wands. You haven't been you know, showcased in the light that you need to be, you know, showcased. But I just want you to know here, though, if this is resonating, just a bit more time. And I'm going to tell you another thing with this Four of Swords. Whatever this learning period was or this time of waiting to prepare, it was necessary. It was with the Four of Swords. Um, this is mainly towards um, career, I feel like, because... Remember, the universe doesn't give you more than you can handle. So you may think that you're you're ready for all kinds of things, okay, to be put on your plate. But I promise you, it doesn't work like that. 
even with my business, like I've noticed that as well too. Like I get what I can handle. If I ever got more than I could handle, I wouldn't be able to even accept it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be able to have to have the time to do it. So I just want you to know there's like divine timing happening as well in career. And I want you to know with the Empress as well too, like shine bright, shine bright like a diamond, honey. Cause with the Empress, you are co-creating this life for yourself and you do deserve, I feel like a lot of praise because there's been many times where you could have given up to take it, maybe even an easy route, but you decided to go the, like the better route, but it was a little harder. Um, I do feel like that with the Empress, but I do want to say with finances though, uh, finances are, there's going to be a huge significant increase. I mean, you're going from five of pentacles to 10 of pentacles. So we're going to go from, you know, it being very tight to it being like that there's so much you don't even know really what to do with it and i do feel like you are a smart person so i feel like when this money does come to you you will be able to handle it responsibly because ten of pentacles does also talk about that too um and listen if this is an investment wow you are one of the lucky ones because we're talking about an investment that looks maybe even everybody had their, you know, say about it, chit-chatting about it, how you were crazy to invest in that. Um, that would have never been anything. Like with Five of Pentacles, to others, it would look like, are you nuts to invest in that? Like, are you, like, do you have your head on straight? And maybe it's just that you invested in yourself, honestly. But guess what? It's like, you. they will be laughing. Uh, you will be laughing, sorry. And they will have their jaws open pinching themselves as to kind of like why they didn't do this as well too or like i don't know maybe secretly even being very jealous about it wow let's get some more you've got the so far the best money spread uh the best career and money spread out of the three piles like you know again i cannot get over going from a five of pentacles to a ten of pentacles and listen it's your time. It's your time to shine. It really is. Give me more for group three uh, in regards to their career and finances. Candle, you will be shown the way. Yeah, you'll be shown the way in everything, though. Every way. You know why? Because that candle being lit talks to me that and tells me as the reader that... Um, you're alert, you're ready, you're like willing to work with the universe, you're willing to allow your higher self to guide you, you're willing to be, you know, vulnerable and open to magic and all kinds of beautiful things that are just unseen. And I'm talking about beautiful things. I'm not talking here about, you know, spell casting, okay? I'm talking about, you know, just remaining in that positive vibration, but also being vulnerable as well. And Let's talk about that as well, too, to go from the start to this card as well, too, is interesting because she's unclothed on that card for, you know, a particular reason. You know, all these things that she believed in, you know, these willing, the willing of, you know, even herself believing in herself. Uh, it may not have been easy to do that. Give me more in the way of finances and career. In need of help, assistance and guidance. Wow, you're getting you're getting guided. Um, so there is a helping hand here. We now got two cards speaking of this. So when it comes to career and guidance, uh, guidance, sorry, finances, I want those that are watching to really, really be alert to what their intuition is telling them to do, in what direction to move, what to invest in. That's where it's going to be an overdrive for you. Not that it won't be in the other categories, but your higher self is trying to bring you something. I feel like that's going to be, you know... I mean, my God, five of pentacles, it hasn't been good. Okay. It's been tight. I feel like here they want you to have things. They want you to be blessed, but it's like, can you work with me? Can you work with me? Can you, can you catch the cues? Can you be brave enough? All of that. Give me more, um, for group three in the way of, uh, finances and career hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So listen, we've got, I feel like relaxation coming for you. That could be also what that's about. Maybe it's a time where you get to like, just uh, stop having to hustle so hard and grind and just kind of like ease back and take time off now, you know, take a couple moments just for yourself. 
but you could be taking a vacation again. And that also will be helping with this. Maybe you've got finances now to take a vacation. Didn't you get vacation before? There's a lot about a vacation here. And it's either that you have the money now to do it or you get to take vacations. Like you don't have to grind as hard because I do feel like with this pile, you've been grinding. You've been constantly in this student energy um, when, you know, you've been trying to reach this top, top, top level boss. But I do feel like that's coming more, more for group three in the way of career and finances. Caution, find out more um, information. Don't overwork yourself. Okay, so with this one, it's kind of funny that we have the heart with the, the cross. I do feel like this is kind of talking about health. Your health, even though we're not on health yet, could be very tied into how much you've been overworking yourself. But I want you to know something else and don't do this in the wrong way. Your health could be affecting your money. It could be. Um, be cautious as to kind of like what you're putting into your system as far as what you're eating. Um, exercise. This also, I don't know if you know this, but vibrationally, when you exercise, but you also, you know, pump that heart rate or you just, you know, are, you know, in that space of doing healthy things, you could also make this come into, you know, play. But I am going to say here, though, for some of you, the finances could be tied to a health issue. And that's maybe also what's been keeping you maybe in, you know, the state of poverty or it's draining a lot of your finances. You need to find out more information. Maybe there's a cheaper way to do something. I don't want to talk too much about that because I feel like for you, you should know what that means. If it doesn't resonate at all, then don't worry. That message is not for you. But I feel like the spirit's cautioning you to just get more information. Maybe you're paying too much for something. Maybe you are paying too much for something. Something that you could find a deal somewhere else. Or maybe you don't have to overwork yourself as much as you think you do. Maybe there's an easier way to do something. That's going to be a very specific message. Okay. Let's get messages now for health. So we're going to channel everybody who's watching again in group three, and we are going to bring forth what they need to be aware of regarding their health. Now, I do need to say to everybody that I am not a practitioner. If you have any type of ailments, please go seek a professional ASAP. Do not or can do not or uh, confuse this reading for medical advice. Okay, please seek out a professional. This does not take the place of that. This is just a general message. If it resonates, it resonates. Let's see, though. What's happening for group three? What do you want them to be aware of when it comes to their health? I just heard, like, um, mystery illness. I don't know why I heard that. That's weird. Give me more on uh, three of pentacles. Give me more on... Um, Six of Cups, give me more on uh, High Priestess, more on Four of Wands. There's that student card. That, that's like freaking me out now. A lot of you are overworking yourself with that Two of Pentacles. You're causing issues that don't need to be there. You've got too much on your plate. And you see that boat that's about to go down that wave? There could be something that comes up for you. Um, and it could be a like that's tied in, like you've just overworked yourself. It's just, it's you've caused stress. It's just, there's that card again. Okay, listen, in health, I feel like here, um, you need breaks. You need breaks. You're doing the most with this group. I feel like just way, just doing too much. And for some of you, you could be, you know, just overexerting yourself to everybody around you, trying to make it in life, maybe even trying to please your job, um, trying to please your family members. I feel like here, there's things that need to go. Your health is being affected by things that you need to cut out. Things that you know are just, it's not real. They're not real. They're, listen, I just heard something for some of you. Don't do this in the wrong way. You know, don't worry. You know, nobody has to know that this resonated with you. 
There could be some addictions, I feel like, um, a secret addiction that is not good for some of you, okay? That needs to be worked on heavily because that addi addiction is like, I feel like also holding you down. Um, I do want to say as well too, some of you may be suffering in silence regarding something, could be your health, even your mental health, I'm not sure, but it doesn't need to be like that, okay? I feel like there's also this feeling of not being able to talk to anybody about this. That also I feel like is dragging you down to some degree. Um, but there's like a lot of chaos I feel like going on in your life right now. A lot of chaos. And it's it's just, it's, unfortunately, I feel like there's not many solutions. Because I think you have to do what you got to do just to stay, you know, stay surviving in this world. But I do feel like here with the five of pentacles, there's something that needs to be looked at. And as opposed to the six of cups overextending yourself to everybody, you need to get rest. And I understand now why this group was being told over and over to go take a vacation and to get rest. I understand it now. Um, you're getting these same messages. And I do feel like, again, with the page of swords, this is also you know, overworking yourself, or maybe you're taking on something that is on top of other things. Um, there's a lot going on. And for some of you with the four of wands, like you may already have like a relationship, you may be in a marriage, and it's just there's just I'm getting hit every different way. Every different way. There's not even any time to focus on myself. Well, guess what, the cards are urging you to do so. Whether you take that advice, that's up to you. I'm just here as the messenger. But uh, please take care of yourself. And listen, um, you need to, I am hearing for some of you, some of you could be extremely passive aggressive. You could keep things to yourself. If you do have somebody that you know that you trust, I would urge you to just so that you could get it out or vent it, talk to them. Talk to them. And I do feel like here also with the Six of Cups, connections need to be better connections i think for you important you know what's important to your health is also connections and i do feel like here we need to find better connections because maybe the ones that you have right now are wreaking havoc upon your life give me more uh for group three in the way of health rats someone working against you or behind your back someone is causing a lot of um animosity angst i'm hearing the word angst a-N-G-S-T, I believe. Um, this could be also worried that people are against you. Um, I do feel like, though, um, that we could be having some people here who are dealing with somebody who is causing a lot of issues, okay? And it could be a boss, could be a coworker. It's a toxic environment, though, that's for sure. Um, they're so sneaky, you know, peering out throughout that grass you know they're not even straightforward about it and listen for a lot of you you could be going through this and again nobody's aware of it or nobody even wants to have your back about it you know maybe people are aware that this person's doing this seeking you out intentionally but nobody else wants to believe you so this is interesting give me more shark take care or there will be a loss of material wealth okay so listen, did I not say that I felt like your health was very closely tied to your finances? If you're not doing well, right? Like if you're not doing well in your health, how are you supposed to make this material wealth work for you? I always tell people when they're manifesting, what does your environment look like? How is it? Talk to me about it. Um, when they start telling me that, you know, it's just, I hate my job, I hate my family, I hate the person I live with, I hate my roommate, et cetera, et cetera. My immediate first thing I tell them is that you're going to have to, before you even start to manifest abundance, figure out how you're going to get out of these situations because you cannot manifest the life that you want if you're around these types of toxic situations. It just doesn't go hand in hand. You have to be in your best light, your best space. And if you can't feel like that, if you feel like you're in the down in the dumps most of the days, how the heck are you supposed to manifest? So there could be something very much tied to this, something that you're dealing with in your life that doesn't allow you to manifest the way you want to. 
Um, I do want to also reiterate my other point from the previous spread. There could be something that you could be doing differently. Um, be also very mindful of that if it is tied into health. Um, take care. Take care because I feel like here, um, you know, maybe you need to be more of a shark. Maybe you need to be, you know, why would they put a shark on that card, right? So maybe you need to move into that space more and start, you know, uh, you know, cutting out what no, long, no longer needs to be there or maybe getting a different attitude about stuff. Maybe not allow everybody to take, you know, or put everything on you. Give me more. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. So listen, the, car the carrot on this card is very symbolic for me. Um, if you look at where it is, you know, you can see it, but uh, if you look, it's kind of underneath the ground. So I feel like here there is a possibility for you to be, you know, uh, more healthy. Um, I just feel like there needs to be particular steps to, to take to get this way. Uh, a clearing out. And I am going to also, you know, just for some of you, maybe, um, you know, include the carrot. Maybe here the carrot is there in a health spread. To say that we need to start eating more vegetables, okay? Cleaner food. Your food actually could be dragging you down. I don't know if you're aware of this. You know, it happens usually when you wake up to a certain degree, but you start to sense the low vibrations in food. And when you eat them, how you feel and how you don't feel right. You just feel like gross. That's also a thing. So I want you to start getting more clean, okay? With the food that you eat. Um... And listen, if you're mental, if you're your mental health and you're just, you know, not in a good space, don't go to the food. OK, don't use the food as a mechanism to cope. OK, give me a card from this uh, deck in regards to health for group three. Manifest, tell the universe exactly what you want. Wow. So this is here to kind of say to you guys, like, let us help you. Um, you know, I think there has been a big issue with manifesting because maybe a lot of you haven't been feeling in your best spirits and that's also affecting the manifesting. It's all tied in here, I feel like, but there's going to be a lot of things that I feel like you need to walk away from that are affecting your money and your health. The money and health for me with this group <coughs> tied really in together and I feel like for you guys you could be doing pretty not the greatest maybe you want to do better in these two categories but it's crazy that we've been talking about manifesting and that card came out because I feel like here you need to be very clear about what you want when it comes to your health I feel like you need to get really and then like make a plan who's bothering me who's not making me feel well okay bye um, what is all this food in my thing? Does this serve my higher person? Just throw it out, you know? Um, obviously I'm not, I know things are rough right now. I'm not saying to throw, you know, food, but if you can, um, get rid of all the things that weigh you down, that is stopping you from manifesting. Let's get a card for group three from this deck in regards to health. easily bothered. So a lot of you are extremely agitated in health. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's, I think you don't even know what's happening anymore. I think maybe you've, you've even like closed the door on this and just decided to like deal with it. But I want you to know that there's something you can do about this. But a lot of you, your health bothers you. And it could be like a weight problem. It could be like how you deal with food. It could be like how your body's reacting to all this stress. I mean, she looks stressed out. She looks so stressed out. I think the key here is to remove the stress. If you can, you know, I'm not saying if you're, you know, your kids stress, you have to get rid of them. But what I'm saying is if you can make changes, like figure something out, because I feel like this part of this reading is not doing well and you're on the edge you're on the edge and you don't know what to do about it i feel like you don't have answers i feel like this is also what i'm feeling like with this group is like you don't need to do or be like there's solutions you just have to find them so just be patient with yourself you will come upon them but um in health oh my goodness look at her face she is so agitated she doesn't know what to do okay so this was your reading, uh, group three. I 
Wish you all the best. I hope it resonated. Let me know if I did and take care. Okay, so if you were gravitated towards image four, this is going to be a reading, but before we start, a couple things to note. Today I am opening the floor to spirit. This is going to be a timeless reading, so whether you are catching it at the time of release or in the future, this reading should find you whenever you need it. My goal today is to touch on general messages, love, career, money, and health. So it is an all-inclusive reading, and again, my goal is to Bring you messages that you need to hear at this time. Please make sure that if you are liking my readings, if you like the way I read and my content, uh, please make sure that you are subscribing and you're hitting all notifications. I don't want you missing out on a reading from me or when I go live. If you would like to catch the extended reading, I am offering one through my Patreon platform. It's going to be an extended reading on love messages from your future partner okay you can catch that reading through the comment section the link will be there to my patreon platform as well as if you'd like to book a private reading the link will also be there in that pinned comment and also the link to my second channel is there so go be nosy go check it out and um yeah let's get into this reading i'm excited so we're gonna go with general messages first and this is gonna be a long reading so get cozy uh, I have added st time stamps if you are only interested in particular categories, but I would watch the whole thing, okay? I don't want you missing out on reading, uh, a reading, a message, okay, <laughs> from Spirit, so make sure you're watching the reading in its entirety. So let us channel everybody who is watching in group four, every single person. Let's open the floor to Spirit. What would you like them to be aware of? What they need to know, what they don't want, what, not, what they want to know, what they need to know. And let's bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret them to them. Let's get some general messages first, things you need to be aware of. Give me more on the two of cups. Oh, wow. Okay, more on the three of cups. More on uh, the chariot. More on the queen. More on the knight of swords. More on the four of pentacles. Okay, there's going to be a time coming up very soon. Very soon. And this may even be the actual energy of how you feel right now. I feel like here there could be a lot of magic going about to take place or it could feel like with the star, like a, a vulnerable time or a magical time. We've got a ton of suitors coming in and offers. A ton of people like you're very attractive. You're going to be very attractive. I, I, I can't tell if you are watching and you resonate with what's happening right now. Um, maybe there's always been an abundant amount of suitors, just nobody you've been interested in. I do feel like, though, that um, this is a very hot time for romance coming up. And you will have your pickings, I heard. You will have your pickings and your choosings. Um, you will be able to choose. So, like, that's great. You know, like, that means that there's an abundant amount. Um, I want to also say, too, that I feel like you're feeling better as well, too. This is coming up. Um... I think you're coming out of a time of great boredom and going and being thwarted into something that is quite exciting. I feel like the summertime too is coming up for me as well too. The summertime is going to be a great time for you. Now, when I say summertime, I'm in North America. So I consider like that, you know, June, July, and whenever you're catching this reading, I don't care. Whatever that summertime that is coming up to you um, next this feels like this is going to be a very, very intriguing time. But I feel like you've been very bored, very bored, um, really kind of wondering when life would pick up. Um, and I do feel like there could be a lot of you who have been wondering why you are attracting particular suitors. There's going to be an upgrade with this. We're going up to the two of cups. 
And I feel like here there's going to be a lot more potential like suitors that are make sense. I'm hearing make sense. Now, the other thing I want to say for some of you, if a lot of you have been figuring out how to put your talents to work and finding that that's been a bit, a bit difficult, it's just been a bit chaotic. You've been kind of trying to figure out this for a while. You've been in a time of gathering with the four of pentacles, trying to really figure out how you're going to do something. And I really feel like it could be anything, something you want to do, something of an idea, or maybe even like, you know, work or your talents, like put them on display. That's also, I feel like going to wind down. So if it's been chaotic a lot, you know, recently with wanting to do things like, I don't know, put yourself on display. I am hearing that on display. You will get the chance to do that. Um, there was a lot to figure out, but I feel like it was on purpose. You needed that time to figure this out. So if you've been wondering, like, if there's been wasted time, you didn't waste time. There was nothing about it that was wasted time. You need to be told that. Because I know sometimes people can really, that can really get at people when they feel like they are wasting time or that they're late to the game. So if you're just coming upon a talent or let's say this is going to be coming up for you, um, you will be able to put these things to work. You will be uh, very good at it. And um, people will be, I f this is a little bit like a, a bit like a fame here, fame, fame. I'm getting that with the magician. Like, I feel like here you're good at something and people want your services. So I don't know what this is. And if this is that you don't resonate with having a talent, this could also be that things are going to be picking up, though, like in work. So it's something that you can do with the magician. You can provide and you get paid for it. So there's love and I feel like a bit of work. But with the star, like, let's not, um, you know, neglect this card. It's on the bottom. And the Nine of Cups is sitting underneath. So I just feel like here um, we go from nothing happening, boredom, wondering where all the offers are, to all of a sudden now there's an influx. And with the star, it could really make you feel vulnerable because I feel like with the Ace of Swords, you won't know what to choose. There could be a dilemma coming up for you in the way of not knowing which path is the right one to take. Um... And I think I'm going to be having to help you with that today. So, you know, that's good. That's good. I hope I can help you with this. But I do feel like here there's going to be so much offers. You won't know. Your head will be spinning. You will not know which way to go. And that's going to be with suitors and then work. So let's get some more messages because that's all I'm seeing right now. Let's see if we can get some more messages for you. I think this group is going to be very concerned about making a mistake or choices, like which path to take. It feels like that to me because there's just so many offers. Or so many just different ways you could go. Give me more um, for this group in the way of a general message. What do they need to be aware of? Boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Okay, something with the boat is headed your way. It's unexpected. Now, with this card, I tend to kind of expand, you know, the meaning. Because that could even be that, like, it's a lottery ticket. Maybe, like, you know, 100 bucks, 50 bucks. Um, there's something of unexpected money or something, like, you're winning. And it's on its way. And I think this is unexpected. This feels very unexpected to me. It feels like it literally comes out of the sky, drops out of the sky. And it could be that you nail a job or you get a promotion, but it feels out of left field. I don't know that I feel like you're working for this. There's a windfall coming for you. And um, it's pleasant. It's pleasant. It feels pleasant. It's nice. Um, I don't know how extravagant it's going to be, but I do feel like it comes out of left field. This is not money or something that you've won at that you've kind of worked towards. It really comes out of nowhere. And that could be also with the star making sense too, because I just do feel like here 
there's magic running for you at this time, or it's going to be coming up for you very soon. And um, it's just a time of renewal. And, you know, you could feel very vulnerable in the sense like there's just these boomerangs, whether they're positive or negative, just coming out of nowhere. Um, but it's just, it's magical with the star. It's a real nice time for hope. And what I will say is that these things that are coming for you too are going to also give you that energy of like what is possible. So that's the outlook, you know, of having that great outlook based upon all these great things that are happening for you. Like you're going to feel on cloud nine more. Ring, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. Yeah. Look at the types of cards that you're getting, uh, pile four. You know, these are really, you know, uh, detailed type of cards. They're not general and they are pointing to some very significant things. So I really wouldn't be surprised if you meet a soulmate um, or like there's a marriage that takes place. And when I say marriage, I'm going all different spectrums just because it's a modern, modern world. This could even be that there's like, you know, we get exclusive. We um, become, you know, more serious about each other. Um, but someone's coming into your life, there's romance. And I did pick up on that. I did feel like very heavy with this pile that there's going to be romance. And this pile may want to check out the extended reading. Like you definitely are having, you know, a future partner showing up soon. Um, but also I have to mention with the business. So there could be something that you make an agreement with, with somebody in business as well too. There could be a joining forces um, or maybe going to a company, getting hired by a company, um, but you're solidifying some sort of commitment. And I see that here with the Two of Cups. Okay, let's get one more um, card for uh, Group 4. General messages, please. Family wishes come true. We've got a well. Have you been wishing for something? Whenever I see the well card, I'm like, I think somebody's been really secretly wishing for something. Um, family wishes come true can be in regards to anything. Um, even if you want to have a family or if you want to be with somebody, or this could be that you have a particular uh, wish for your family, whatever it may be, the cards want you to know that that's in the cards for you. It's coming to fruition. So good for you. These are like big things. I mean, you got money, you got money coming out of nowhere. Maybe you're a powerful manifester with the magician. And you know how to like, you know, stay on track with that chariot. But that's like v coming very soon. So be ready. Expect money. Expect love. Why not? Right? Give me more for group uh, four in the way of general messages. Okay, so we've got liar. Be careful or someone of someone sneaky. So here, I feel like this could be talking to some of you who need to hear a message regarding somebody that has been lying. This could be either coming up for you or you could be having a suspicion right now. But uh, someone is going to be, and this doesn't have to be bad. You know, it could be that somebody's been lying about their feelings about you. You know, don't take these cards always so literal or in a bad way. Um, someone could have been maybe even sneaking around, watching you, pretending like they don't have feelings for you, but they do. But if it's not that, um, there's going to be a reveal on somebody. And I say that this is a good thing because, you know, that's always a gift from the universe when someone's revealed because, listen, you know, you don't want to prolong this connection, okay, if that person is a liar. So consider when you find out it to be a gift, say, thank you, universe. Um, but I think for a lot of you, uh, others of you, you could know who this is and the card are just saying, hey, um, if you've been picking up, if you've been sensing that someone's been lying to you, they are. And that feels to me like the person is kind of dumb in a sense, because I feel like when they, when they, when you find out, it's like they slip up. It's like a move on their end and then it gets revealed to you, but it's all meant to be. You need to find out about this person so that you can act accordingly, okay? Whether that be to remove them, etc., whatever. Let's get another card. You will win in the end. 
So listen, um, I'm feeling that theme, honestly, throughout this whole reading. I really do feel like here, regardless of what happens, like you're going to be on a high. There's going to be a lot of opportunity coming for you, Pile 4. Um, a lot of reasons to, you know, buy balloons and drink champagne like she is on the card. And I want you to know here, too, that this is like a thriving time for you. Thriving. And um, I don't want you to get skeptical. I think that's also with the star here, too, because there's going to be so much happening at once. You may be in this kind of mentality of when that other shoe will drop. Don't go there, okay? I know you can feel very vulnerable with the star or like if this will last. Don't go into the negative thinking, okay? But um, you will win. And if you've been, if you were cooking on this reading, hoping for me to say something, let's say you're watching and you're like, I want this, I want that, I want that job promotion, I want to get pregnant. This is a big, big deal, this card. It's basically solidifying that you will win, so you will get whatever you need, okay, whatever your higher self wants for you, but you will be very happy about it, okay? There will be cause for celebration. So listen, get ready, okay? Get ready. Okay, let's move into love. Okay, so let's move into love now for you. Let's bring forth messages you need to hear. What does group four need to be aware of regarding love? Bring forth the messages they need to hear, not the messages they want to hear. Give me more on the Ace of Pentacles. Give me more on the Queen of Swords. Give me more on the Hermit. Give me more on the Eight of Cups. Give me more on the High Priestess. Give me more on the Chariot. I feel like for a lot of you, you've been feeling like love has not really been, you know, in the cards for you lately. I do want to say here too that there is going to be a bountiful uh, amount of opportunities coming to you with the Ace of Pentacles and with the Three of Pentacles, there could be some sort of situation that comes up in the, the workplace, okay? There could be somebody that, you know, stirs your romantic interest that shows up in the workplace, but there could also be a threes situation. I don't know if this is a threes a crowd or there's like two options that you get to choose from, but there's three people in the mix and... I need you to be aware of that because I feel like here you're going to be in a position again, like just like what I said in the general messages of choosing, you know, with the queen of pentacles, you will be in the driver's seat in your love life. It will not be like how it has been. And um, you're going to have to choose. You will have to make a choice. And I see that you could be very worried about making the wrong choice but I think you'll be okay. I do want to also say too here, for those of you who have maybe always been in your power or have just come into it where you've kind of been starting to put up boundaries or like, you know, getting more serious about yourself and what you tolerate, a lot of you may have been feeling like this is not working for you. It's just not working in the love area. It actually is. You need to be told it is. It's driving away the ones that are not you know, for you. Whereas before, when you didn't have your guard up, everybody was just coming in, just anybody and everybody. So if you feel like if there's anybody watching here who feels or like they're contemplating whether the way that they act or the way that they behave or the limitations or the boundaries that they have set are maybe kind of like too strong, you are to put that out of your mind immediately. This is actually a good thing what you're doing and it's actually helping you to sort out the junk from the diamonds, okay? So um, I do see a lot of you could have been working on boundaries in love and trying to stand in your power regarding what you want, what you don't want. But maybe there's just been like nothing happening because of that. But that's okay though. Um, you gotta do what's true to you. That's what spirit's saying. Now, 
I do feel like here a lot of you could have been working on your spiritual growth and hence why this is maybe just, it's been a sense of boredom because it's just been you and your spiritual journey. Like, but where's the person? Like you've been making a lot of progress like regarding yourself and how you are as a person and growing and, you know, but with the hangman, I feel like you feel that love has been kind of just standing still it's just with the hangman like nothing happening but look at this like you're enlightened you're getting enlightened now i do want to say that there is somebody here okay i do see a person here uh, with the chariot that's on their way um and this person i feel like is worth the wait they really are they're a king of pentacles they've got their head on their shoulders they're secure they're predictable they um don't need anything from you. They can, you know, self-sustain completely themselves. So I do feel like with some of you, you could have been maybe attracting people who were takers or just wanted, wanted, wanted and had nothing to give. Nothing to give. This person has a lot to give. And I do feel like here um, with the lovers, this could come at a very shocking time. I think you'll meet them in a time where it's unexpected but I do feel like what's interesting about this is that somebody may be skeptical, skeptical about somebody. So I don't know if it's that you're going to be skeptical of them or they will be of you or you both will be with each other. I am being told that this is worth it. This is worth the wait. You two may not really necessarily get like each other at first or get each other. There could be like a little bit of competition, but you want to know why that is? It's because the two of you are very similar. The thing is, is that your great qualities are going to be great for each other, but you may have some stubbornness or some ways about you that are reflected in the both of you, hence what causes this unnecessary competition. So I do see the, the with the chariot, it's, it could be a bit rocky when it starts, but with that tower, oh my God, this is so explosive. And I'm going to say another thing too, with the three of swords, um, this may come after a time where you may be healing or, you know, uh, from, there's something about a past relationship. Um, don't bring it into this connection, okay? Don't bring fear into this connection because I do feel like when this person comes in, it will feel like out of this world, it won't feel real. It will feel like you may even think you're being played. And I do feel the tower, I mean, my goodness, with the tower, the tower is very shaky. It's like, you know you kind of don't even know how to feel about it. It's just, it rocks your whole world. This is not something casual. This is very intense, but something tells me you're ready for that, that you would like to experience that. You want something like that. I feel like here, um, you want to express emotion. You want to be deep with somebody. We've got the high priestess as well too. So, you know, you may actually be able to figure out very quickly what this connection is. You'll be able to see right through that person and that person vice versa to you. This is deep. This is not for the faint of heart. This is like everything that you want and more and it's worth the wait. But like I said, there could be some issues just getting over with in the beginning as to kind of how to approach because the two of you are very similar and I do feel like as well, too, like whatever you have that are, you know, what you would consider your negative traits, that person may have them as well, too. So there could be a little bit of, you know, competition here um, in the beginning when you meet this person. But I do feel like here um, it has all the trinkets and energy around it to be successful. But there's a bit of a hurdle. And listen, if you've been wanting something deep, the universe has given it to you. Okay. But aside from that, there will be plentiful of suitors, plentiful. I don't see with this group that you're going to be struggling to find somebody. It's just dissecting through who you want to be with and who you don't want to be with and really figuring out what you want. But I feel like this is a very attractive time for you. Um, a lot of people will be interested and it could be that you're working on your vibration because I do see a lot of self-growth here. And when you do work on your vibration and your frequency, you will be more attractive. People won't even know what it is. They'll just be attracted. And that will be all areas. But for this one, we're talking about love. So let's get more. Let's get more. 
in regards to love. What does group four need to be aware of regarding love? We have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. So this woman, I don't know. I feel like you'll have to be, you know, you'll have to figure out what that means to you. Um, is it that you're going to be with a woman? Are you a man watching or are you a woman watching? I don't know. But this could be also you if you are a woman watching. There's going to be again, like, look how beautiful she looks on this card. She's glowing. There will be dealings and relationships, I promise you, with you, this group. Um, it's going to be a bountiful time. I keep hearing that. There's going to be a lot of opportunity. Like, you're looking great, even energetically. It's not even about your physical beauty. Never mind that. You're just, you're glowing, and she's glowing. I'm telling you, uh, you're coming up to a high time right now. Um, you may even want to check what's going on in your birth chart. You know, I'm thinking like there could be something very special about this moment. Maybe this is your year, the dragon year. I don't know more. Too much concern with S-E-X-U-A-L matters. Guys, like I, a lot of people are going to want to be with you. Okay, like what are the chances that you're getting this card? There's going to be a lot of people who find you extremely attractive. Like, I mean, like, attractive, so much so that, you know, look at this rabbit. Like, it looks like he's looking at you, and he doesn't even know what to do. But maybe those are the people that you're going to have to suss out, because maybe they just want to be with you physically, but they don't want anything more. And that's why I'm saying to you that this is going to be a choosing time. So just be very watchful. Use your intuition. There's going to be so much opportunity, but you're going to have to really suss out who wants you just for, you know, the bedroom and who wants to be, you know, serious with you. But this is a time of immense attraction coming your way. So, wow, let's get more. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Okay, well, listen, um, that's great. How it applies to love, uh, I don't know. Maybe this is that person coming in because with that King of Pentacles, that person definitely has things, okay? And they are a sharer. This King of Pentacles will share their wealth. So listen, maybe this is all the work you put into the past, in the past, working on yourself. Maybe you wanted somebody who could meet you at your level, you know, established. Not even that it's about a rich guy or a rich girl. It's just that like, you know, they can build with you. So I think this person that's coming in or whoever you end up, you know, finding will be someone that you can grow financially with. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to hit every category. That's why I say this person coming in, it's excellent because not only are they secure, okay, in their feelings, um, they also come and they're like prepared to be with you. They're not in a state of lack, whatever that may be. So listen, this is great. This is really great. Let's get some more. Let's get one card from here. What does pile uh, four need to be aware of when it comes to love? Moving. Change of residence, moving in with your partner. So a couple things with this card. I, I just heard immediately when I saw the card. If you are in the midst of moving or if you've been feeling like you need to move, that partner will show up when you move. There's something about going to your partner location wise. And it doesn't have to be that you're moving to another country. It could just be that you're moving to another city or, you know, down the street. But it moves you closer to finding your partner. You are moving towards this pile four. I'm telling you. Something with pile four, you guys have been doing a lot of real deep work on yourselves. This is the reward, okay? Finally. Others of you, you will be moving in with your partner. It's getting more solidified, okay? It's getting more solidified. Um, there's going to be an exclusivity happening, more of a commitment. 
or when you meet this person, you will move in very quickly with each other if that's what you guys want. Um, the others of you, I do feel like here, um, change of residence. Someone could be moving in towards closer to you. There could be someone coming also towards you. Never, let's not forget that. That can also work that way too. Someone comes closer in proximity to you. So if you've been wondering where your person is, they may be on their way. Um, sometimes things got to get tied up, you know, in that person's life in order to meet you. But I do feel like here, this is talking about getting closer. This is getting closer. You're getting closer, pile four, to what you want in love. I'm very happy for you. Okay, let's get one card from this deck. What does pile four need to be aware of when it comes to love? spiritual support. So what did I say with this pile? You've been doing a lot of work, but listen, I want you to understand another thing too. Whatever you may want in love, whoever is watching this, okay? You are getting spiritual support for this. They're aware. They are trying to bring you closer to this, but I do feel like here you're doing very well in taking heed to the messages that are coming through. So if you've been feeling like you got to hold out or you need to do this or you need to do that, like you're doing a good job at listening to your intuition. So this is what I like as well with this card. But you've got spiritual support. And I'm going to tell you another thing too. Your guides and that other person's guides are heavily involved with this. This could be a, a match made by the, the angels. Okay? Very much so. I don't know how much you're aware of this type of stuff. But this totally exists. Where we have uh, people's guides who set these things up. There's something very magical going on in your love life. And I really hope that you didn't miss the general messages because I felt that for this group as well too, that there was magic involved and that, um, you know, we've got like higher beings involved in your life. So please, I hope you didn't miss general messages, but I picked up a lot on that there. And we even got love messages within that as well. So maybe scroll back if you mixed it, but... You're getting the support you need. And I think you're doing very well at taking heed to like your intuitive. So good, like your intuitive uh, messages that you're downloading. So good for you. Good for you, really. Okay, so let's move on to career and finance. So what does group four need to be aware of regarding career and finance? finances what do you want them to be aware of spirit We must have a lot of water sign um, people showing up here in this pile because that can uh, that Queen of Cups is just very prevalent here. Wow. Um, but you don't have to be. Holy moly. This is the pile I feel like so far to pick. Give me more on the star. Wow. More on the Ace of Pentacles. More on uh, the Four of Swords. More on the Hermit. More on the Queen. Wow. More on the High Priestess. More on that Eight of Swords. More. Holy moly. This was the pile to pick. Absolutely. Um, guys, uh, where do I start in this pile? Like, where do I start? There's so much. A lot of you will be blessed financially and unexpectedly. I'm telling you. You've got this on this Wheel of Fortune here. Um, a lot of you are working with like manifestations, like the whole reading makes sense now at this point. Okay. From general messages to love to now career and finances, you guys are leveling up energetically. And you know, with the temperance card, this is a very heavily based universal card. It talks about support. Okay. Um, we've got divine timing at play and there's going to be so much unexpected changes here. Um, 
a lot of you though are, I feel like doing something, you have either a hand in just believing that you're going to be okay, uh, manifesting, holding on, having patience, etc. By working on yourself as well too, this is also bringing in more money. I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, appreciation, you know how money appreciates? By appreciating yourself, your money appreciates as well too. I don't know how much you believe in that. I really hope that you would, but this is a fact. It's happened in my own life. The more I worked on myself spiritually is the more I got financially. And there is, why do you think that, that it's called that? You know, your money appreciating. As you appreciate yourself, your money appreciates. And I do feel like here with that strength card, you are again using your intuition with your money. You are following all the signs that you need. Um, listening to what spirit is saying, do this, do that, or not do this and that. You are, I feel like, so in tune with your higher self that this is going to be bringing an um, abundant amount of money and career. Career is here as well, too. You're getting, I feel like, you're going to be working with a team or there could be a company approaching you very soon. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, she's a very wise woman, okay? She's a very wise woman. And um, she has a way of accumulating okay, like knowledge and being at the right time at the right place. She has this way about her of doing this. And I do feel like here you may stumble upon, I'm hearing like a dream team or a dream company. Like you're literally at the right time at the right place. Now, if this is not that, I feel like I see your coworkers approaching you with a deal, something to obviously, you know, level you up. But I feel like it's more money and um, you're going to be enjoying. I feel like you're in surroundings. The other thing I want to say. With the high priestess, I'm wondering here if some of you have invested in something and you've used your also your psychic abilities with this as well, too, like your intuition. Did you get a hunch about something? I'm really wondering if someone here got a hunch about something to invest in something. That investment may not pay off right away, but it will down the line, okay? 100%. But you used your psychic ability with this. It was like it came out of left field. It felt right to you. You're like, hmm, you know what? I feel like I'm being guided to do something like that. And that could just be yourself. It could be that you invested in yourself or it could be an actual investment. With the Nine of Pentacles, you will not see a return on that right away. But in a year from now, oh my God. Guys, I really want whoever chose this pile to comment in the comment section because I can really vibe with a person like this. I could really vibe with a person like this because I could see without the, with, throughout all these cards how much you're using not just like facts and logic, but like your psychic abilities, what you feel like also manifestations, believing um, taking chances, but also with the queen of pentacles being very patient about it, you know, uh, not withering, not wavering, um, not getting into a, you know, a, a, a bad mood. A lot of you also too. Wow. Um, okay. I got to talk to another set of people here. A lot of you have been probably feeling like money may not have been on your side. It's even getting to the point where it's stifling you. Because with the Eight of Swords here, um, I think this is also, you know, being in a situation where you could be a victim. And I actually mean that. Like, at any point, you could just be maybe, you know, I don't know, homeless. Maybe a lot of you are feeling like um, you don't get to engage in society as much as you want to because everything's tight. Okay? I feel like you're... If you want something in regards to that, you're getting it with the Nine of Cups. This is a desired outcome. This is a wish card. I feel like here, you got to stay strong. You are staying strong, though. I do see that. I see that you're staying, staying strong. You've got this goal with the Ace of Pentacles. And right now, it could look very grim. It could look like, is this going to really happen, like, for me? Like, for real? Like, you know, it's getting so tight. It's getting so tight. But the thing is that is that this willpower of yours is going to pay off. It's going to pay off. 
Just in that moment of like that nick of time is when something happens for you. Um, I really don't know that I feel like guided to tell people to cheer up. I feel like you're doing a very good job at this. I feel like, you know, um, blessings and abundance is coming and you're aware of that. You feel good about it. You know it's coming. That's the thing with this group too is that you you genuinely believe it's coming and that's why it will come. You've mastered the art of manifestation. I am going to say another thing for some other people. Some of you may get very rich very soon because there's a turn of events regarding some of you and your money, okay? I don't know how that will look. I don't know if that's that you just get a job, but I feel like it's more of an investment, more of an investment type thing. Um, there's a very bizarre turn of events with the star and um, you're sitting pretty. You're sitting pretty with whatever you invested in. And I do feel like for a lot of you as well too, um, you need to keep moving in the way that you're moving. Um, whatever you're doing about your finances, whatever you are doing about your career, keep at it, keep strong. Um, you are doing the right thing. I don't know that I feel with this group that I could say like anybody's doing anything bad. Like as if I have to tell people to stop spending money. I don't feel that. Although I should maybe say that maybe there could be some of you who receive some money. Be careful that you don't, you know, overspend when it comes through and leave yourself in a vulnerable situation. Um, but money is coming. I, I can't say anything else about this. It just looks completely great. There's nothing here that I feel like um, is not good. And I do want to say, too, is if there's there may be a new outcome, a new avenue, like another avenue of money. Um, I feel like here with the Four of Swords, um, you've been wanting maybe another source of income. That could be coming to you very soon as well, too. So I don't know if we have a lot of people here who have like streams of income, but I also see some another another income stream coming in. Another income stream. Wow. Okay, let's move on to another deck. Let's get more. Maybe we'll get some more messages for other people who don't resonate with this. I just feel like I'm talking to a lot of people who are like believers in themselves. Like real believers, no matter what's happening. And know that things are going to get better. And because of that, it does get better. Give me more. More for group four um, in regards to career and finances. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Okay. I feel like this is you. I actually feel like this is you in a very positive way. You are like killing it in finances and career. I feel like the boastful part is like that believing that you're going to be good. You're going to do well. You're very prideful with respect to this, okay? Um, your career, your finances. I don't think anybody can cross you. I really don't. I really don't. Um, I think you're just really on this, you know, path of just believing. And maybe you feel a little crazy. People think you're crazy. Maybe you even feel you're crazy a bit. But you have to be a little crazy to believe it. Now, listen, I have to be, you know, use this card uh, in a general way because it's a general reading. A lot of you could be dealing with somebody who is arrogant and boastful. It could be that this person's in the workplace. I say leave them alone. They will probably, you know, um, out themselves on their own. They could be, you know, very reckless and careless. Um, if somebody has been bothering you in the workplace and it's just been bothering you, like just itching at you um, to like do something about it. Don't worry, they're, they're going to be responsible for their own demise because they are, I feel like, a little careless, okay? Um, they don't know when to shut up, I feel like, or, you know, uh, tone it down, and people will get sick of them in time. That could be your boss too, but it's someone in the workplace. More. What did I say, guys? You got coins. Money will be coming to you. Money will be coming to you, like showering you. Get excited. Stay excited. Don't let anybody get in the way of your happiness with, you know, what you're trying to manifest because I just feel like it's a great time right now for you. And I picked that up in general messages. Love and money is going to be amazing. More. Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. 
Didn't I say that she was wise, this uh, Queen of Cups? I feel like you guys have like a story, a big story. A lot of you could make money off of this story. I do want to say, just in case someone's listening, if you could write a book about your life and, you know, what it took to get you here, you should definitely do that. Um, but a lot of you, this is a long time coming, you know, your evolution, how you dealt with money, how you wanted to be seen with money. How did you want to, you know, attract money? A lot of you have really played the game uh, quite, you know, smartly. And I just feel like here now is your time. That long journey is coming to an end. Um, you're wiser now. You know what to do regarding finances and career. And I feel like you are going to make the, me the best decisions moving forward. The best decisions. I'm not worried about you guys. I'm not worried about you guys at all. Give me more for group four in regards to money. We've got gold digger. They want your money being used. Okay, so this is important that this is coming up within the financial reading. A lot of you need to hear that there's somebody, I feel like, around you who may be using you for your money. Or, like, sometimes we can have these kind of fake connections where, you know, people want to just be connected to people because maybe they may get something or they feel like, you know, it may rub off on them. Um, also, I want to make sure that you also are aware, too, that when you kind of, start moving into this energy, you are very choosy about who you're allowing around you because a lot of people are going to want to get next to you. Look how she's holding on to that man's arm. She wants next to him because he's doing well. And this will happen, guys. The universe will test you. They will. And throughout the whole reading, I've been getting this, you know, since it started, that you would have to be very choosy with who you're allowing around you. And listen, it could be friends. It doesn't have to be that it's a lover. It could be anybody. I feel like here, um, when this also happens for you, can you please also keep it hush-hush? There's no need for you to also maybe be this rooster and go around and start talking about what you're doing, how you're manifesting money, how money is coming to you, or you know what you got, or did you win something? Um, keep that to yourself, please. I feel like you need to, um, because there could even be with the gold digger energy, uh, people who want to ruin this for you. A lot of people, you know, even in love, I got that you were going to be so attractive. A lot of people are going to want to get are going to want to get next to you. Next to you. You're just in a good space. It's normal. You're going to be carrying that light. That light will be very bright. I don't want you picking up the wrong people. So please be very careful as to who you're allowing around you. And if you're very successful, let's just say you're successful, okay? Um, there could be a lot of people showing up out of nowhere and you're like, what, what do they want? Like, why do these people want to be my friends? Why are they here? You know, um, there's going to be an abundant amount of people showing up and you will have to be having your thinking cap on your intuition cap on and very cautious as to who you're allowing around you. Okay. More, more in the way of, uh, finances and career for those that are watching in group four, laughing behind your back. So with this card, I feel like here, um, I say keep what you're doing to yourself. Don't really share. There could be people around you who are not ready for this type of information. I know if I was to start talking to people um, about, you know, the way that I manifest money, they could think I'm legit crazy. They could legit think I need to like go get a mental check. Okay. So you need to be, I feel like a little bit more uh, preserved with regards to, you know, what you're doing. Uh, be careful you're not being too showy, okay, as well, too. People don't need to know your business. But the other thing I want to say is that if there are some of you that are watching who have been wondering if people are laughing behind your back in your workplace, they are, okay? You should never neglect your intuition. I feel like the fact that you even feel that says something, but this would just be confirmation. Um, she is in the workplace. She's all done up. It's just symbolic for me, but we're talking about career and finances, okay? So I feel like here, um, you're going to either fall into one of those two groups. Um, maybe people want to say a lot of things about you. They have a lot of things to say about you, what you're doing, what you're up to, how you live your life, what you believe in. That's none of your business. That's their problem. Okay. Um, in the workplace, let these people be, let them laugh, let them laugh because in the previous spread, 
You got that you will win in the end. You will have the last laugh in career and finances. Let's move on to health. Okay, so let's channel everybody who's watching in group four. Let's bring awareness to them regarding their health, what they need to be aware of. But I do want to preface this reading by saying that I am not a medical professional. Please do not use this reading to diagnose yourself. Um, seek help as, as soon as possible. Okay, this is just for entertainment purposes only. What does group four need to be aware of regarding their health? I feel like some of you need treatment for something, but don't have the funds for it. That's what I heard right away. A lot of you could be suffering silently, but don't have the funds to take care of this. Give me more on the Ace of Pentacles, more on uh, the Six of Wands, more on the Temperance, more on the King of Pentacles, more on um, the Eight of Swords, more on the Hermit. A lot of you could be struggling financially to take care of something that you need. And it could be anything. It could be your teeth. I don't know why I shot right to my teeth. I don't know if we haven't had a dentist appointment in a while. I don't know if there's no insurance. I feel like this could be lack of insurance. Um, but I am going to say another thing for another set of people that I just want to jump into right away. A lot of you, whoever you're with, like whoever you're with in a connection, if there are people who are watching, and remember, these readings will, you know, fluctuate person to person who's watching. So um, this health thing may not resonate with you if love and career did, okay? Um, a lot of you, I feel like your relationship is also causing some sort of stifling. Um, it's not making you feel the best. It could be that whoever you live with, whoever you're with, some sort of connection that I feel like is bringing you down. Or... It could be that there is this lack of connection and that also is making you sad. So maybe it's like, I'm not with the person I want to be that's causing heartache or it's that I want to be with somebody and that's also causing heartache. I feel like here, um, this is a period of transition. I feel like with the, the death card, I do feel like here there could be some help coming to you soon, especially if you resonate with the fact that you just don't have the money the funds right now to take care of your health it's temporary this will be getting taken care of soon i really do feel like i'm talking to people here who want to look into something but it's like the money the money is the problem um a lot of you though i feel like as well with the temperance card and the ten of cups listen you may want to i think spirit may be helping here some of you could have some ailments that just vanish okay and i mean like maybe it's a muscle pain Maybe it's a neck pain. Maybe it's something that I just feel like goes away naturally. But I feel like with the temperance card, the universe is working on this. Working on this. But I do see this up here as well, too, that this could be a problem. Finances. Or, again, it's like someone's in a relationship and that person's causing, you know, because we're talking about health, right? So that could be anything. That could be even like your emotions. Because, you know, if you're not feeling great or you're feeling down... That does affect your body, right? But I do feel like for the most part, there could be, again, you know, a lack of money. And this could be regarding anything. Maybe it's not your own health. Maybe it's someone else's health that you, in your family that you want to take care of. But like, you know, it's like it comes down to money. That's what it feels like. So I just want you to know that um, this feels temporary to me. With the Six of Wands, I feel like you could be, you know, moving forward with this. Just be careful with the Five of Cups not to... Totally do away with this. Just remember there's still two, two cups standing behind you. There's still possibility for you to win with this um, or overcome this. I feel like with the death, I, it doesn't feel like it's going to have longevity to me. The death is a cycle, okay? So we may be coming up to the end of a cycle right now where you will be able to, you know, take care of these things that you want to take care of. Now, I'm going to jump into other cards because I do want to see what else I can get in regards to health. Because this spread is very general to me.
A lot of you could be having problems with insurance, I feel like. Give me more um, for group four in regards to health. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So a lot of your health issues are coming from that. I see it here with the eight of swords. Um, frustrations, feeling tied down, feeling like maybe you can't move. Maybe you want to do some things in life, but because you can't do it yet, it kind of bothers you. That's what the yoke is about. I just feel like here there's a movement that wants to be taking. You know, you want to move forward with something, but it's like it just it, this thing just stifles you. And that in turn gives you frustration. And then it weighs on your emotions, I feel like. More. Flag. Don't be tempted to, don't, do not be tempted to lower your standards. I think you need to fight for this, whatever it is. Um, be careful to not give up. I feel like if there is something about insurance or you're fighting for something right now in regards to your health, do not give up. That's what this is about. Um, go full throttle for what you want. And I, I don't know what that's going to be, guys, because when I'm reading like this, I don't know who I'm reading to. And I don't know what it means, to be honest. So like, I just feel like with the flag, though, you got to keep going with this. So if you're fighting for something, again, um, don't lower your standards. Don't uh, give up. Don't shy away from this. It's important that you stand strong just like that flag is. Give me more. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. So I think if you stay true to this, I think you will overcome this, um, which is a great card to get. Um, it could be something you've been wanting to like figure out for a while. Like how would you cross this bridge? Um, but I feel like when it comes to your health, someone else could be standing in the way of this, which is interesting. There's like a third party and I don't know if it's the access. You don't have the access to something. I feel like someone's preventing access to like better, you know, something that would better, better your health, which is, you know, again, because I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what, what I'm talking about. Um, give me more. Give me more in regards to group four and their health. No, it's not the right time. Okay. You will have to take that um, exactly how you receive it. Um, if you've been wanting, if the, wondering if this is going to change right now, it's not the right time right now. Um, this will move eventually. So right now it could be that like, I, I don't want to give this type of, you know, you know, messages, but um, right now it, it's like things aren't moving. It, it's not going to move right now, but it will in the future. So it's going to take time. And I know that's not the greatest thing. People don't want to hear that. I understand. I, I really do. Um, but right now I'm getting a no. So if you've been wondering if this will move or if this will get better, it may not be right now. Sorry. Give me more in regards to groups four, uh, group four and their health mob mentality i think we've got a third party here involved i think we're dealing with honestly maybe for some of you the gov okay the gov i hope you know what i'm talking about um i think here we've got some sort of something interfering with your health and this could be even um who you're involved with um i don't know maybe there's an anger problem maybe there's anger issues maybe you're very angry about this maybe you want you're just really angry about this with your health and um I, I think if i had to give any type of you know message with this card is that you got to work on this okay um, i know that's easier said from me to say to you guys but we don't want to fuel this fire okay um try to do whatever you can in the meantime until this uh comes forward i feel like here it's interesting because he's even giving these crumbs to this guy like he needs more this guy needs more but it's like, this is what you're giving me? How am I supposed to do anything with this little crumbs you're giving me? But then it moves. So listen, this is going to be a very, very particular type of reading. I think for those of you that it's supposed to be for, you will understand it. Let me know in the comment section if it made sense. Um, I think this will get better for you, but not right now. But please, in the meantime, figure out how you're going to like, you know, deal with this. Don't get too out of sorts with this. And if you have an anger about it, or if you're trying to access something, don't use anger because um, that could also work against you, okay? This could totally be about your workplace, maybe not giving you benefits. I have no idea. 
you will have to participate as a viewer and see how that resonates with you. But I do wish you all the best, group four, I do. So take care and have a wonderful day.